Oh, welcome, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> we just, uh, this is a good podcast. You're going to enjoy it. We tell some stories. It starts off with um, with us talking about how uh, Dale got fired. Yeah, I've been fired before. Been fired, lost my job, quit a few jobs. And um, we, we we tell those stories. And then we, we run through every intern because we're, cause we're losing a couple this week. And you'll get to, so you'll get to hear the stories of people that have uh, been fired, lost their jobs, quit a job. And for those that didn't have an awkward story about one of those, we said, we went with, all right, well, what's an awkward breakup story? Then um, also reasons you would quit working for Rodeo Time. So a lot of interesting information coming from the Rodeo Time team here in Winnebago. Right. Except for Donnie, we never got to, what was your reason you'd quit? Oh, yeah. You're the last one. <clears throat> Reasons people would quit this place. Either you or if you could see somebody else quitting. What would your reason be? Mm. Man. Ah, just bad, uh, bad, bad, um, bad humor, I guess, by the <laughs> boss. <laughs> just, you know, he's just not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not fun anymore. <laughs> and he has now created a new category. You know what? Of reasons people would quit. So, I don't know. I feel like that one goes in coworkers. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't give away all the reasons why people would quit. Right, right. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, you'll have to listen to the podcast for that. So check it out. We've got a great, great conversation. You get to hear from the crew and some inside scoops on what it's like to work here under this roof at Radiator Ranch at uh, the Dale Warehouse. We've got some new apparel in the house. Please check out dalebrisby.com. Um, yeah, new caps. We've got like eight or nine new styles of caps, seven or eight new styles of shirts, and more coming this summer. Text me special offer to this phone number. Text me the word special offer to 940 and I will keep you privy to stuff going on. This last weekend, I did a free shipping code. The only people that knew about it were the people in the text group. So I didn't talk about it anywhere on social media. So text me there. And then check out our, our uh, sponsors, Rock and Roll Denim, k and Side-by-Sides, Total Feeds, and American Hats. Now on to the podcast. <laughs> Okay. You're you're what right. were you gonna say, Don? You're right. Uh <laughs> you forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow. What else do you have? Oh, uh, oh, other reasons people sorry, I've not all right, I'm gonna breeze through the reasons people have quit. Yeah. The most recent one was the heat. Um I'm almost positive that's also why Garrett Kelly Johnson left that summer. The heat? He really missed back home. Yeah. He was from Nebraska. Right. I think heat had a lot to do with it. Um, the only reason why I think it might have been the heat was uh, just because, like, how bad he wanted a rodeo and he left yeah. in, like, like July 10th. You know, there's still mm -hmm. a lot of rodeos in Texas. <laughs> I think it was the heat. <laughs> um, and he really loved home, which you can't fault a guy for, and I never would. Right. Wes left. So I was trying to make a point a while ago, and this is why I think Wes left. So, like, um, there's two kinds of people that come to work at at rodeo time uh -huh. and it's like locals or interns and if you're an intern you come here for like a pretty specific reason right there's like three maybe four rodeo ranching maybe like branding and yeah. marketing you know business social media etc and so you're able to do those things while you also work here you know so right you're able to make money while you work here well if you come here for one of those reasons, that's great. And you're probably happy while you're here until you might decide you don't want to do those things anymore. Yeah. Then all of a sudden you're just in Winnebago, <laughs> Texas working for a YouTuber <laughs> and it's not quite as good idea as, right. as it was originally. Again, no fault. Great yeah. conversation. You know, your passion, your desire, your goals have changed. It's time for you to move on. 
100% understand when you leave, it'll make an opportunity for someone else. When right. Wes left, we had Jordan come on, um, who is 100% committed to bull riding, you know. Right. Um, so anyways, uh, we've got – but that was Wes. He just didn't want to ride bulls anymore and was wanted to pursue his now career. So he was another one that left. Um, that's been most of – Yeah. what was the – the people's champ. What was his name? Everett. Yeah. We didn't really get a clear picture. I think he left just, I think it was yeah. the same thing as Wes. We don't know why he was here. We don't know why he left. <laughs> we don't know where he's at now. Yeah. <laughs> he, Wes said before he left, he's like, yeah, when I leave, you're going to need to hire two people and take my spot. I said, yeah. I said, yeah, to fix all the things. Fix <laughs> <laughs> everything you brought. That's a good zinger. That's a good zinger. <laughs> <laughs> it would take two people to break as much stuff as you have been. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. <laughs> I can't fault him. I didn't know. That's what I've heard Boots O'Neill at the sixes. He says, when that cowboy rides up, it's like two, two good, good hands riding, riding off. <laughs> <laughs> or it's a, there's a lot of places on a cow, on a cow he ain't punched. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh, I've had jeans right up better than this guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorites. Oh, man. Uh, <clears throat> dude, you're good at you're good at making a you know. We've never even talked about me leaving, but I will just say something, and you will spin it into a conversation about, dude. You can leave whenever you want to. <laughs> like things will be perfectly fine here. <laughs> but, all right, you didn't have to put me at ease for leaving. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, that's how I in give my defense. Too. Yeah. Yesterday, you were like. This is what you said before I said that. You said, don't get me wrong. I love editing and working. So like, just keep in mind, yes, the all conversation right, right, yeah. did go to yes. me giving you my blessing. Right. To be on the next one. However, you were, you were like passive aggressively being like, don't get me wrong. <laughs> That's kind of like saying, with all due respect, I love sweating my butt off. Okay. Or, or that's kind of like adding at the end. Great guy, though. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Great guy. <laughs> or starting with, bless his heart. Dude, he's like my but. best friend. I love him. <laughs> but but <laughs> the guy is a total idiot. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Fair enough. So those are the only three or four I can remember. Gary Kelly Johnson, Wes, Everett. Sam Bone. Uh, Sam Bone. Uh, he missed home, too. Right. I think Everett did. Westman's, I mean, uh, Sam Bone missed home. He had a girlfriend back home. He had never been away from home. Uh, Everett missed home. Garrett Kelly Johnson missed home. Wes was kind of ready for a new chapter of his life. The she who must not be named got a little hot in the warehouse, I believe. Ah, <laughs> that'll happen. I, I mean, she, we're still on good terms. I bet she'll come back and help us in the over the holidays. It's not a big deal. All yeah. of them were great. You know, like, all right, cool. We shook hands and they go. So, <clears throat> and then there's been a couple of people fired. That'll happen on a big outfit. Would Dale fire somebody if fans responded negatively to them in the comment section? <laughs> so, <laughs> that, so comments slash DMs. Right. So, if it's just a hater in the comments, no. But, like, but okay, but how about a, like, a substantial amount of people are like, hey, just for example, you know, losing, is like, dude, you got to get rid of that Donnie guy. He's bringing these videos down. No, I wouldn't. Wouldn't no. you would? You matter of fact, him. I would. It would make me want to keep it. Like, right. I, I don't know. I get real defensive in the comments about like people that work for me. Right. Um. But I have. We have gotten a DM about a potential intern. Like we. I'll call. We'll call this potential intern, Mike. Right. And <laughs> Mike was going to. Um. We told Mike, "Come on." Right. But Mike got the one nine. And needed to wait 10 days. Right. So we're like, oh, well, we'll just wait. Well, uh, well, was it 10 days? They moved that around. I don't First know. it was it 14, was 14, 14, then it was 10, yeah. then it was 8. Right. I think it's 5 or 4. I it might be know. just, ha you know, 6 hours yeah. now. That you gotta Probably. You got to <laughs> <Yeah>. quarantine. <laughs> All right. Move it, around. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on who in, in the who yeah. gets it. You we'll know, test you again in an hour. Yeah, if somebody important gets it that they care about, they right. Yeah, what? Well, It'll be all right. Yeah. Just go ahead and come. You're the star of this movie. We can just <laughs> these tests are really yeah. accurate. Yeah. Yeah. False positive. We'll yeah. just say we'll use the the name Doctor F. 
when right. Dr. F got it. <laughs> okay. I like that meme. It's like, I don't always get the one nine, but when I do, it's after I've had the booster <laughs> yeah. 19 times. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, what were we talking about? Um, negative oh, yeah, comments. Yeah, yeah. So got Mike, you got a DM. Mike is yeah. coming. We get a DM from Mike's significant other. Says, right. I hear that Mike is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Some things you ought to know. <laughs> That's so awesome. Gives us a list of why not to hire Mike. Oh, so those are a little different, right? What was what was what was on the list? <laughs> I'll tell you later. Okay, all right. Yeah, fair <laughs> there enough. There were some fair things enough. Mike didn't share with us in his intern. Oh, video. that's awesome. So we do listen to those, right? And then as we, you should. And then we ask Mike, Mike. Some of these things true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Started the sentence kind of like you did. Right, yeah. Yes, but. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Okay. Before you hold this against me. <laughs> so anyway. The charges were dropped. I'm just. <laughs> um, All now, right. Now we're going to bring on some interns. Yep. We're going to roll through um, some interns that are here. And we've got, you know, five, six questions. And we got a lot of interns to get through. So we're going to go quickly. We're going to start with Reese. Reese yep. is actually leaving soon. He's one of the ones leaving this week. He was on our short-term intern program. Reese, come on in, brother. Jump here in the hot seat. Reese has been a great intern. Uh, he's been here for two and a half weeks. Well, I wouldn't say great. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, well, his bull riding was great. He was here for... He got on 10 bulls? Yeah. We Counted them up yesterday. Ten of them. We've got uh, Reese Howden. I will say that I learned your last name much quicker than I do most interns. Perfect. So he's our first international intern. He's from Canada. And um, <clears throat> we got some questions for you. All righty, Reese. So first up, if you had to pick a reason to quit rodeo time, what would it be? And you can't use that it was a short-term internship. Like if you had to quit early, what would it would have been? Ooh. The heat. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Okay. He's yeah. from even He's further. He's from Canada. Yeah, so like, that's, <laughs> that's a given. And he complains significantly less. Honestly, uh, like, <laughs> everything is awesome. Having a lot of fun. It's just, it's a lot to deal with sometimes. What's that? The heat. The heat. <laughs> it's just, it's, it, Dude, that it's cut just, right through your Canadian positivity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, we asked him. Yeah, that's, yeah. We asked him. He's but, not voluntarily just right. complaining. Like, <laughs> But that being said, like, like now versus like when I got off the plane, like way better at handling it and just like being okay with it for the yeah. most part. But like, it's not, yeah, it's, uh, you just got to prepare differently, like drinking a ton of water. Yeah. You were and, busting pallets outside. Yeah. Like if we're talking about the worst job to have when it's 105 degrees out. You got that one in the bag, buddy. I was definitely <laughs> testing it. I was, <laughs> I was seeing what, what we actually could do in 107-degree heat. So, <laughs> I like that. You were, like, pushing yourself just to see. It. That's awesome. Yeah. I've kind of been doing that with my runs in the morning. So I've been, uh, I've been running pretty much most of the year. And uh, obviously in January, pretty cold, you know, so I'm wearing – few layers when i'm running well i was like i'm just gonna keep them on right so i've been running with a hoodie and a long sleeve tee and tights on thanks on a suit like and as i mean even yesterday morning but uh yesterday halfway through my run i did take i was like all right i, I started with it because I, I ran later in the morning right and so it was like at six in the morning it's not so bad but if you don't get started till like 6 45 or 7 yeah, By it's time already the eight o'clock yeah. rolls around, bruh. So, anyways, yeah. um, July fourth was the first time I like shed. I like I had to shed some. That's clothes. a good. That's a good. That's a solid record. I Keep, feel, yeah, yeah, that's. I'm. I would be proud of that one. So, um, okay. So the heat. That's your reason. If you had to quit rodeo time early before your before your time here was already up, you would have picked the heat. Yeah. All right. We're gonna we're gonna mark that down because I feel like we're gonna get a lot of that. Yeah, matter of fact, we're going to tell people they can't choose that. Okay. Next question. Times you thought you were going to get fired. Uh, I'm not too sure. Like, um, 
maybe leaving a gate open or something. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, or when Jordan was like, you're doing that wrong again. <laughs> yeah. Again. <laughs> you th- so sh- you thought she had the authority to fire you? I felt like she had more authority than you did to fire me. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. You go to like, hey, hey you, da- don't, you know what? Pack your stuff. <laughs> yeah. I just see you go to Dale like, hey, Jordan fired me? Yeah, man, sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh, she did? did. <laughs> she didn't say anything about me, did she? <laughs> she wasn't mad at me for hiring you. Was she? Dude, you're the fifth one this week, man. I or, just can't. or it's like, or it's like Dwight on the office. Also, Michael, do I have permission to fire people while you're gone? <laughs> well, like, like with Jordan in the in the mornings when I was hell helping her feed and water and stuff, and then we go ride. Um, you know, the first day she showed me how to saddle up the horse and stuff, and I'm just like trying to process everything and try and contain it all so that the next day I can get it. Because like, you know, I'm comparing this to like, you know, if I'm gonna go skiing with someone who's never skied before in their life. It's and like I did not want it to suck for her. Oh yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> they like, don't know how to put the skis on. Yeah. So I didn't want to like you'd be like I wanted to hold her back as least as possible. Gotcha. And like really improve a lot daily yeah. so she could see it. Yeah. And uh, and so the next day you're like trying to get it on there and you're trying to get the I think it was the reins. I was trying to get the reins on and I have the uh, like the chin strap. I'm putting it over the top of his nose and then she just comes in there. No, no. Oh, stop that. That's fun. Whatever you're doing, stop. Get your hands out of the way. We do yeah. that. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> Are there any other jobs that you have been fired from or quit? Um, no, I haven't been fired from any jobs before. I haven't had a ton of jobs, um, but uh, kind of been like more, they've all kind of been like an organic, like departing, whether like, you know, going like to school one. or something, or yeah, like it already has like a time where it's like this is ending, or like um, gonna work the summer, then go into ski season in like November. So I'm that's kind of when I'm gonna stop working. Um, yeah, I've been uh, been close though. Yeah, been close. Me and me and my brother were were working on at at the same <laughs> job site one time, and it's not the greatest. All when all all the time when you're working next to your younger brother, right? Yeah, you know, and uh, working long days and stuff. And I remember he was he was poking me. He he always is like, <laughs> you know, trying to mess with me and stuff. And I'm sitting there and I'm trying to work hard, right? So I'm getting pissed at him. And uh, we were doing hardy board on the outside of this house. Yeah, and he's messing with me, messing with me, and then. He does something, and I see him. He's like, ru- he's running away, and I take a chunk of hardy board, about this big, and as he's running away, I whip it at him over the top of a fence. So it was kind of like a blind shot, and miss him. Drill another guy in the back <laughs> of the head who's not wearing a hard hat. <laughs> Dang! From you, were you this big when you chucked it? Yeah. Well, like, it wasn't like I was like super hard, but like I threw a chunk of hard, like like ninja started a chunk of hard. hard at your hard brother, at the guy. <laughs> so you threw it harder than you would. Threw it pretty hard, yeah. And I just hear this guy just you know start swearing, and I'm like, oh, oh, oh man, we are in it. We're yeah. so fired. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it ended up. It was uh, we were able to contain it, contain yeah. the situation, and um, yeah, but that was. I probably I probably should have got fired there. Actually, we probably should have got fired, Jesse yeah, and I. Fair, fair but enough. Uh, we were we were working pretty good for the most part. But yeah, <laughs> that was a that's definitely the closest. So if you've never been fired or had like an awkward quitting job, have you ever had an awkward breakup? Awkward breakup. Um, I don't know. Probably. They're, they're all kind of awkward. <laughs> they're all kind of awkward. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, um, if you don't have any notable ones to speak of, tell us about what do you think of – you got on 10 bulls while you were here. Yes, sir. Because you're leaving tomorrow, right? Yeah, leaving you tomorrow. Need a, did you find somebody? Is somebody giving you a ride to the airport? Uh, I haven't heard yet. All right, we'll find somebody. Yeah. What time's your flight? I think we got to be rolling into the airport around like 3 o'clock, so departure around noonish. 
Oh, it's like, a three o'clock flight. Yeah, like okay. no, no, like departure. It's a like a six o'clock flight. So departing here around noon. Okay, to getting get, there, okay. you know, two, <laughs> two and a half. I was really, really confused about that. Is <laughs> yeah, I meant your <laughs> departure time, like for the flight. Yeah, like yeah, we're anyway. leaving like six, six fifteen or something gotcha. like that. Yeah, we'll find somebody to get you there. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, ten bulls. You you like <clears throat> almost covered mellow yellow. So you graduate. You did good on Carlos. Yeah, you pretty much rode Carlos almost eight seconds every time you got on him. I was four for five, four there for five go. on Carlos. Yeah, he did. He's already <laughs> got his own. Who's stats counting? Yeah, right. he is. Yeah. <laughs> four, four, four for five, and the last three, I landed with my feet on the ground, which was substantially better. Yeah. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, Carlos is quickly turning into one of our really good practice bulls, as far as especially for somebody's first bull. Oh yeah. Um. Was it anything like you thought it would be? Honestly, I had no expectations, and I also had, like, yeah, I had really no idea what it was going to be like to be on an animal like that Yeah. before. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, it was not, exo- at, like, at all what I was expecting when I came out the first time. Like, yeah. it was wild and, like, so foreign that I was expecting that kind of, but like I had no idea what really was going right. was going going on. Like we practiced with Boone and stuff, but it's a uh, yeah, it's it's different for sure. Yeah. But it was cool. Like you know, um, felt like I understood it pretty quick. You know, um, and my muscles and legs got used to you know what I needed to do to hold on and stuff like that. Cause like when I first got on that barrel, I was cramping up so bad. Really? Oh yeah. Well, Cause I have, have having my toes out. So not having like a linear, um, action. So like toes out and like trying to hug and like my hips were cramping so bad on the buck. Right. And I'm like, Oh man, I don't even know if I can, if I can do this. Like if I'm, if I, if I just get <laughs> on this bull and just start cramping up, like that is not a recipe for success. Yeah. So um, got over that, and it was kind of starting to feel a little bit better. And um, but yeah, it was you know, well started to make a lot more sense. What was neat, you know, like I've seen a lot of people get on like their first few head, you know, um, even in college. Like before, I had like an intern deal. Like I, I always seemed to have access to practice pins, or I had one at my house, and. Um, and so I, I ran into a lot of people that wanted to try it. I've got a few buddies that, like, we were um, been friends for years because I helped, like, Charles admire. Like, the only reason why I know him is uh, is because I helped him get on his first bull. Anyhow, what, my point is I had a, a hunch that you were going to progress quicker because you're a professional athlete and um, – because you know, with in rodeo, much like a lot of sports, it uh, I make the joke that it's ninety percent mental and the rest is in your head. I think it's a Mickey Mantle quote. Uh, he's talking about baseball, but uh, rodeo is ninety percent mental and the rest is in your head. Like once you get to a physical, where where especially once you understand the fundamentals, you know, like each sport has fundamentals, and the greats are just really good at the fundamentals, uh, like Mickey Mantle was, or Tom Brady, or LeBron James, Michael Jordan. J.B. Mooney, Dale Brisby. You know, like, we're great at the fundamentals. Yogi Berra. There you go. Sorry. Um, Yeah, he's a good one, too. (laughs) So, anyway, um, that's – I was kind of thinking that, like, you would be awake enough and then you would know how to implement those fundamentals. So, um, you obviously weren't terrified. You might have been a little nervous just because you're aware of what's going on. But, like, something about, like, I helped a few college football players at A&M uh, get on. Uh, Paul Freeney, he was a defensive end and a uh, big dude. And, uh, yeah, he got on a couple times. There was a safety. I can't remember his name. Super cool dude. But, anyway, <clears throat> you guys just seem to be much more aware than, like, a typical just everyday person who wants to ride bulls. And uh, it, it was – it came – to fruition like you progressed a lot quicker in your 10 bulls I, I would say you did on your 10th bull that's that's normally where somebody might be on like 40 50 kind of deal so. yeah like i'm feeling like mentally i'm feeling quite comfortable on the bulls right now and like if i wasn't leaving tomorrow 
and I was staying for like a few more months, what I would do is I would knock it on bulls for probably a week and a half to two weeks from, from now. And I would just start to work on more of the physical aspect of like, what kind of muscles do I need to train to kind of enhance what I'm trying to do? Cause I have a grasp of what I want to do. Yeah. And, um, and like after that last bull, like, you know, my, I'm pretty beat up right now. Yeah, your hamstring. Yeah, no, <laughs> and I think a week, and week 10 like days that. taken off would be wise, you know, with your hamstring being a sore. Because you got on a lot of bulls in a short amount of time, and your body's just not used to that sport. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, you and I had that conversation. You were like, you'd got on two, I think it was day before yesterday, because you got on two days in a row. And uh, it was July 3rd, and you were like, uh, which bull? And I was like, well, it just depends on what you want to do, accomplish while you're here, you know, because, you know, that was Monday, you're leaving, or that, that was Sunday, you're leaving Wednesday, like, all right, how much, we don't have that much time to level up, you're obviously going to continue to ski and try to make the Olympics again in skiing, so like, how many bulls, you know, because we could keep going up all the way to Little Dawn, mm -hmm. who would be our rankest bull that we have, you know, but, uh, and then, and you actually chose, all right, no, I want to level up one more, and you got on Mellow Yellow, and uh, and did great, and so that was a, that was a great call. But I wanted you to make that decision. I wasn't going to tell you just, you know, all right, now it's time to step it up. But it was it was unique because it's like you were about to leave, but you were also ready to step it up even though you're 72 hours away but from leaving. <clears throat> anyway, yeah. So uh, overall, what would you rate your experience? How would you, how would you wrap it up like uh, being an intern here? Well, it was great. You know, it was uh – a I had like ex expectations coming into it and, um, you know, they all got met, you know, I got on as many horses as I, you know, physically probably could have. And, um, and yeah, lots of opportunity there, learned a ton in terms of, you know, ranching and then also, um, working with horses, horsemanship, that sort of thing. Um, took in a ton of knowledge there and, uh, and then riding bulls was wild like especially that you know those last two days here we i got on five bulls so that was that was huge and and then also with the like the media and branding and all that that was that was a lot um for me for sure learned a ton here and kind of have some uh something to go with when i go back home and then i'll also you know i'm i'm, I'm sure if i have questions or something like that only a text call away something like that no. so no, don't call me or text me anymore right. after this. <laughs> you're, like, you are, you're dead to the rodeo time brand as soon as you walk out yeah, that door. Once you leave, you're out of here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Of course you can. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, me and uh, me and uh, uh, Garrett Kelly were talking about that same thing yesterday. So uh, he was he was one of the OG interns. But um, what would be one of the maybe top two like biggest things that surprised you about being an intern here. Like you, so you're, you're watching the videos you see, maybe you saw the Netflix show, some rodeo time episodes, Instagram, Snapchat, and then you apply, you come down here. What's like two or three things that like really surprised you? The one thing that really surprised me was, um, the group of interns and you yourself and all your employees, like, how well you guys mesh and how well you guys take on new people. You know, it really reminded me of, um, you know, having like my team aspect when I'm on this, the, the ski team and stuff and we travel around all the time, we end up being a family, right? So um, you guys all work together so well. And, um, and I felt like so included when I sh sh showed up and stuff like that, you know, having, you know, no skills. I wasn't feeling like you guys were like, you know, this guy knows nothing, whatever he's, a pain in the ass or something like that but right. um no like like cole was great teaching me roping and all that stuff and um yeah everybody just wanted was positive and wanted um me to be successful and and everybody had fun together like you know yeah we, like ev even like when we're not working or filming and stuff like that for the most part we're hanging out yeah so you know i had a lot of fun <laughs> like that um going all the texas cookouts was a lot of fun too i really enjoyed that um we don't do that as much back home um we do but just like definitely not as a uh, common for sure yeah, but you uh, bet 
Yeah, it was that, well, and like that was huge. This is kind of cookout season. Yeah, true. You know, like we 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 do go out to eat. I would say uh, more often than probably some people. Like if we're not like cooking out, but like I'm thinking like winter time. You know, we'll still go out to eat. You know, but I like to I like to cook burgers. I love to have people over at the house. Like my dream right now is to put more bunkhouses on radiator ranch that way there's more people on the property all the time like i don't get like people want to stay on the couch people want to come hang out like i i don't know i'm not much of like a a loner so like i love having people around it would it would it'd be hard for me to be just a straight mountain man or like a like a camper like out on a camp like way for a ranch you know like way off by myself 28 out of 30 days a month like that would be really difficult yeah, for me sure. just knowing how much i enjoy being around people anyway well uh thank you so much for your time here thank you so much for being an intern yep absolutely stay in touch you guys look up reese howden uh track his um his career as a olympic skier professional skier out of canada a eh? so any last <laughs> give us your life advice life is we're gonna bring on Blythe um I guess like uh life advice for like what I like how just for you okay, for me like if if you had a son and he was like this is your moment with him he's going off to college um you know just just follow that dream man like if you feel that if if, if there's an opportunity that you want you know, chase it. Don't, uh, don't, don't be like, you know, don't always take the safe route of like, you know, like if I don't make this decision or if I don't go and chase this, I know where I'm going to be. I'm going to be right here. I'm going to go into school, whatever. Yep. And, but, you know, chase the opportunity. Don't always worry about the failure. Yep. And, um, yeah, basically. Cool. That means a lot coming, you know, like you seem like the kind of guy that like you wouldn't, when you, when, when he says that, it's not like he's blowing smoke. No. Well, except for the fact that you only ski on groomed courses, but. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but even like, so you can make the argument that his advice means a lot just in what he's accomplished in skiing, but also like coming he's the, he's the yeah. skier that came down to Texas to ride bulls. To ride bulls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the, in the awesome. high, high of his career, you yeah. know. So, anyways, that does that does. I mean, like that's a big deal. So cool, man. Well, um, if you could send Blythe to us, yeah, we'll do. Thank Go you very the much next for having term. me, guys. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank, thank you, you man. Everybody, Appreciate check it. out Reese. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, that uh, ten interns right now. We're about to go back down to eight. We're gonna have some op open bunk houses. Yep. All right, we've got. Uh, the next intern that we're going to ask these questions for Blythe of the party. Oh yes. Do you know my last Instagram. name? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. What it is it? I've been here for a year. So almost it's Eep, right? No, <laughs> no, it's, it's not. You say it differently. No, different times. yes, you do. So your last, <laughs> but it's spelled Eep. It's spelled E P P. So yep. I'm just pronouncing <laughs> it wrong at this point. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ep. Ep. But her, in my defense, her Instagram handle was beep beep. Right. True. Dude. Yeah. yeah. I know. She got mad at me because I spelled her name wrong, but like, I was like, your Instagram name is beep beep. Like, how, I, I was just <laughs> taking a shot in the dark. Nobody. Yeah. Um, however, a year. A year. I should get it by a year. I mean, you so. got Reese's in two weeks. Uh, he was a little more intimidating. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> I better learn this guy's name. A hundred percent. I was like, this big rascal could crush me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You mean I'm not intimidating enough? I mean, like, I respect you. Oh yeah. As a lady, and I want to <laughs> be respectful, but I don't feel like you could like kill me with like a one hammer punch on the top of the head like no. Reese might could. There's yeah. no scenario that you would win in a fight. No you way. Know what I mean? Bro, yeah. No way. Yeah. There's not. There's, not. There's not. There's just not. You could have a loaded not gun. <laughs> and like, I would. <laughs> you would still lose. Yep. Uh, I don't mean just you. Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just. <laughs> anyhow. Oh. So. Um, 
If you had to pick a reason people would quit working at Rodeo Time, what would it be? I don't want to name names, but there's this guy that's here. And he walks around and just, you know, rips one a lot of times. <laughs> and he says, oh, thought it was going to be silent. <laughs> and it still smells. Wonder who that could be. <laughs> okay, but... Not when, the guy whose guts are constantly churning from the five spark you drink a day. <laughs> yeah, right. So good for right you. They up. only have 125 milligrams of caffeine. So if I keep it under 400 total daily, I think I'm all right. What math are you going off of? <laughs> the bolus they give you at the doctor is 400 milligrams of caffeine. So Four talking, sparks would be 500 milligrams. Well, I don't actually take five, like he said. I'm, I'm, I usually keep it under three. Okay. So... <clears throat> he was exaggerating. But yeah, I was talking to my doctor and I was like, how much is too much caffeine? And he was, and we did this together. He was like, well, I mean, we give them, I think, I don't know, a bolus, right. I guess. He was like, we give people, a bolus, and that's 400 milligrams of caffeine. And I was like, so if I keep it under 400 a day, I'm probably all right. Yeah. He was like, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. And so, we'll see. So what I try to do is I stick to two or less. I've ah. since... Been trying. I've been trying some mountain ops. Yeah, and it's gone really well. In the That's mornings, I uh, sorry, Blythe. We'll come back. Oh to you. no, yeah, we're going to come back to yeah. you. <laughs> Whatever your name You're is. Still here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In the morning, you may go. I know. Send the next person. You They're can trouble. go now. You may leave now. <laughs> Tombstone. Yep. I like it. Yep. Um, in the mornings, I've been drinking this drink called Enduro. Mm -hmm. Like it's supposed to. It's energy. Also gives you like some endurance, car cardiovascular. <laughs> Some cardiovascular help, and uh, it's non-caffeinated. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, exactly. How does it help? What there, it there just like does. A, there's no caffeine in it. <laughs> Correct. I'm gonna have to try it. Uh, so that's the first thing I drink in the morning now. I'm just enduro. I'm glad to hear this because for a guy who doesn't drink, if you don't have a spark, you start getting like the not the, 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 <laughs> the shakes a little bit. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, so so they've got, and then their caffeinated drink is Ignite, which hits pretty hard. So here lately, I've been on the, I was actually doing really well, and then I dislocated my shoulder and got sick in the same week, and so I kind of had to take a break from like my workout schedule and taking those products. So I've kind of had a little bit of an interrupt, but I've really enjoyed the. Anyhow, I'll get you some, Donnie. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Back oh. to Dale's farts. I got it. I know yeah. a guy. Okay. Yeah, I know a guy. So uh, the first person we asked, it was um, heat. The heat. The heat. Has the heat bothered you? Man, that first couple months I was in the warehouse, it hit. It hit hard. Uh, but I was wearing shorts, so it hasn't really been that hot this year. I think I've gotten used to it from Nebraska. It's going to be cold when I go up there again. Yeah. But we're so, used to it. Um times you thought you were going to get fired oh okay so one of the first <laughs> <laughs> one of the first weeks i was feeding and catfish is just chilling in the mornings and i was like man i'm already out here for an hour feeding why not just like let him off so i did that for a couple weeks and then one day the one day that dale was out here uh feeding well jordan was feeds too but uh dale was out there and and uh he was like he was like Hey, Blythe, where, where's Catfish? I was like, oh, no. <laughs> the one time. And I was like, oh, uh, I, I thought he was over here. And then, man, that was, that was the longest two minutes of my life. But he came back. Yep. He just needed Dale to call him. Also, I uh, uh, came in here to work out one day. And uh, it was like probably 11 o'clock at night. It was really late. And this was one of the first weeks I was here, too. And... I opened the door and then I forgot the code. I got the numbers wrong uh, on the system. <laughs> and, and I was like, and then it started like counting down. And then it was like, like it was going to call somebody. I was like, Dale probably already like is getting the notification that like it's going to call somebody. And I thought the police was going to come. I didn't know he could just like shut it off through his phone. So I was like, I sprinted over to Kevin. I was like, and I knocked on, this is when Kevin was in the 20 footer bunk, the uh, container and i sprinted over to his his, <laughs> his container and he was like i think he was asleep or something he's like 
hello <laughs> like well, why are you because <laughs> and then uh i was like do you know the code and he's like i have no idea <laughs> i ran over to willie's and i knocked on it. he wasn't answering i think he was in like the shower or something i was like oh no this is like by myself so i went back i ran back to the warehouse and it was still counting down i was like oh man <laughs> you did this all in under a minute dude I can run when I want to. <laughs> it's a minute countdown. Like. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so then I was like, oh, no, what do I do? What do we do? And then it just turned off. I was like, oh, man. Yes, yes, Lord. <laughs> but it was it was Dale, right? I was watching on the cameras. <laughs> I remember this now. I forgot all about it. But, like, I was watching on the cameras because it was, like, a pending alarm at yeah. the warehouse. And I was like, oh, crap. So I always check the cameras. Usually it's, like, the UPS guy. You know, right, and uh, and I have to, you know, but it was like eleven. I was like, dang, UPS working late, you know. <laughs> and uh, I saw Blythe like running and like freaking out, you know, because the camera is like right above the little oh. keypad, and I was, so I just turned it off and rolled over and went to sleep. But oh man, <laughs> anyway. I just went home. I was like, I had enough so, of the workout just then. Yeah, neither one of those instances did I consider firing you. Oh, the, good. <laughs> a lot of people have had trouble with, I mean, like every intern loses catfish. It's like a rite of passage. And yeah. like every one of them is like freaking out. But like, I don't know. I know catfish. We all know catfish, you know, he's got the attention span of a cricket. So <laughs> like he's just going to find, yeah. I've had, uh, yeah, one, in, he got hit by a car once he got out. He got shot one time. Catfish or an intern? Out. Catfish. Oh, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> and then one, uh, when Greasy Baby was working for me, like, he let him off the chain. And you know how, like, he'll take off running? Yeah. Well, like, that little, that covered walkway thing above the, like, yeah, yeah, one of those pipes going down had this little jagged piece of metal. And he, like, ran by it, and it caught the skin on his shoulder blade, oh. and peeled all the skin off his shoulder blade. He's got a wicked scar from that. Yeah, mm. like, that dog is a maniac. Anyways. Um, other jobs you've been fired from or quit? I worked at a food truck for a summer and, uh, yeah, we just, I scooped a lot of gelato and made a lot of paninis. So <laughs> it's an Italian <laughs> food truck. Did you quit or get fired? I quit. Uh, I worked there for like a couple summers. Yeah. I think three summers. And then, man, I, I mean, I thought I scooped gelato well, but. Did you get tipped well? We had a tip jar. Um, we put a college fund. If you put like college fund on the tip jar, you get tip more. Um, but You're just now going to college. I know. <laughs> Back then, I was like, well, if I put college fund, <laughs> so that is uh, smart. Yeah, really? I know. And so, uh, but where, 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 how are the tips at a food truck? Uh, I mean, they're they're good. I, they're just like a couple bucks. We I had guess. one of those flip around iPads that said like no tip, fifteen, twenty, and then like thirty. No, the Everybody are feels. All- the percentage yeah. is way off. Okay, it's like thirty five percent, forty five percent tip. Yeah. yeah. And know. it's at a food truck, so it's like I don't serve the food to them. Like you're not supposed to tip, but people did. So Oh okay. Do you feel obligated to tip at like Man, one of those iPads? As far as like I don't feel obligated, but uh. I usually for some reason, like I've never worked as a waiter, <laughs> but I bet it's just not a fun job. And I can't remember what book I was reading long long time ago in college and it was like somebody suggesting like be nice to service people so like i i tend to i think i i think i'm a good tipper yeah think, that's good i think yeah so yeah i would tip but if i'm at a food truck i'm probably not gonna tip 20 percent. <laughs> yeah. yeah i'll do a yeah. custom deal like especially like you said like oh food's ready and then they call your name and hand it to you that's all uh-huh. they gotta do I, I mean i'll tip something but not I like sometimes, I know the Bible says, like, don't do things just so you can be recognized. But, like, (laughs) occasionally, like, food truck scenario, Uh like, I like to, like, do cash and put it in the jar. So they see you. But I want them to see me. (laughs) Right. Sorry. (laughs) Make my food good. (laughs) Just (laughs) because, like, yes, I paid for the food, but also here's some extra. (laughs) You're welcome. I don't need you to go above and beyond. I'm not asking for your tip. (laughs) I'm not asking for special treatment, but like maybe this means like I don't know. There'll be like just the normal amount of attention required. (laughs) Extra fries. I feel like if I was working in a food truck and I saw someone tip, like I'm just gonna make sure they get their order, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like they went extra. I'm gonna. So that's my thinking. Yeah. Yeah. And it was always nice when people tipped. 
man, that food truck, not a lot of people came through because I live in a town of like 4,000 and we have a couple restaurants. And so they would like, we'd play jokes on each other. I got locked out of the trailer a bunch of times and they just thought it was so funny to watch me on the cameras. <laughs> just You're pretty much blind to the party no dude, matter where you work. Huh? Dude. Okay. <laughs> I know I've been locked out of the warehouse. But <laughs> What's the wrong way to scoop gelato? <laughs> Nobody's going to ask that question. Is there, what is gelato? Gelato. I believe it's some sort of ice cream without that's dairy. I, that's it's, what I thought. So it's like a thicker ice cream. Everybody thinks it's ice cream. Why but not we can just charge say more. really thick ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> that is a fair compromise. No? Uh. But you have to weigh it, and if you like over scoop or under scoop, but it was really overpriced, and it tastes just like ice cream. But so if you haven't had any, maybe you do have an awkward quitting or getting fired story. But if you don't have any of those, do you have any awkward breakup stories? Yeah. Yes. Oh. I, this was a couple of years ago in college <laughs> and, uh, this, this guy, so my sister was dating this guy and this guy had like, was advocating real hard for his brother. And so I was like, man, let's like give this brother a shot. And so <laughs> it's n- it's never works. <laughs> never works. <It> never works. <laughs> seven brides for seven brothers. Oh man. What? Yeah. Hur- hurricanes? No drama in that. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. And, uh. So I was like, yeah, why not? And so we went on like a date and then we started dating. But it was like long distance. Long distance. If you start a relationship in long distance, it's it's <laughs> Yeah. It's a it's a rough one. I don't yeah. recommend it. But uh so I was like, man, this this might work. He lived in Connecticut. It wasn't gonna work. He lived in Connecticut. <laughs> and uh <laughs> so then I like, I realized this guy's like not for me at all. And so I was like debating, I can't go to Connecticut and break up with the guy, right? Cause that's Connecticut. A waste of a trip. Uh, Lyme <laughs> disease there. Yeah. 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 Obviously. Um, but the beach too. So that's pretty fun. But then like <laughs> you do it over the phone <laughs> or just like text. And so, uh, so we, uh, we did over the phone. It was, it was a, it was a, it was a long conversation. He did not want to break up with me. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> have you ever been in like trying to break up with somebody and they're like, no. Like, had you ever met him in person? I've yeah. Had, I've had some of those, but I, I had one that was like the opposite. This girl was like, mad. <laughs> she she broke up with me. I liked her a lot. And you I said this no. Chick. No, I didn't say no. <laughs> I dated this girl for, I liked her a lot. And she was like, because I don't know, she kind of did it right. I guess she was like, hey, we need to talk. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, I know what's going on. Here we go. You know, so so I went over there and she was like, I just don't think it's gonna work out. And I got up and I was like, Okay, well, I'll see you around. And I walked out. Like it was like that quick of a conversation. Nice. And she was like, That's it? Question mark. I was like, What you want me to do? Beg you? Yeah. What else are we gonna talk about? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the way to go. I really didn't and I liked her a lot. And I guess maybe that's maybe why she was confused because like I think she knew I liked her, but then like she even I like didn't. me. <laughs> I mean, Did I she could... ever come back? There was one point where I thought maybe that's what she was trying to do. That like there was an opportunity where we could have reconciled. Yeah. Later in life, like a couple of years, but like we, she then like moved to another state. Yeah. So like mm. it wasn't. <clears throat> it it was just like a. Most of the time, they do. Yes, especially <laughs> if you act like that. Like that's that's what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> she d- she didn't come back right away. Like this would it would have been just been like a mm-hmm. few years later yeah. where it was like because she I'm sh- you know like I was very respectful. Mm-hmm. I took her on her first date. She had never been on like a formal date. Where'd you take her? <sighs> it was I don't want to sound sappy because right now I <laughs> kinda, I feel like a G the way I did oh, it. Okay, but like, okay. no, no, it was a surprise. <laughs> It was a surprise. It was just a, it was a picnic. Oh. But good. like, I don't know. It was cause it was, that was cheaper. <laughs> so we were just Jokes like, on her. <laughs> we were just riding and we rode up on this picnic table. So, and then we ate and then we left. So it was very simple, but it was like the first time that she had like been on like a formal date anyway. Yeah. Probably would have been nice to get some reasons though. You know? I, I didn't really see my, I mean, like. You got to take your sunglasses off. <laughs> <laughs> I can't ever see you. 
I don't know. I didn't really feel like they were, I, I mean, like, she's obviously made up her mind, you know. It wasn't an impulse thing. Maybe it was, maybe, I don't know. My old man told me not to beg. I mean, it's a he good, said, yeah. yeah. Not, only, not, not out of pride, but he was just like, they don't want to see you beg. Having been on both sides of that, is- I will say that you took the better route. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Desperation. You know, it's been the bigger and Never the other did. guy. Yeah. Because there's been other ones where it's, because I got broke up with a lot. It was normally me getting broke up with rather than doing the breaking up. And uh, yes, yeah, like there were some times where I was like, really wanted to try to talk him out of it. But it was just like, it made sense when he said that. It was, yeah. I was like, yeah, he's like, if you are going to be together, you know, that maybe they'll come back, but essentially they don't want to see you back anyway. Right. You know? mm-hmm. So something that can be stolen can be stolen. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Yep. Yeah, but anyway, so it didn't work out, and he's not to know. So I, it was just I just had to like end communication. Then my sister got married to this guy. <laughs> his brother. <laughs> yeah, his brother, and the wedding was like last year so it was a couple months after it was planned a couple months after we had broken up so you text him do you have a date for the wedding <laughs> <laughs> hey yeah you hey remember <laughs> way back when i told you <laughs> no uh the wedding was fine it was it was good like we had a civilized like conversation but yeah it was just really weird it they're still weird. married do you still see him yeah oh yes yeah, when i got yeah i'm going up there so that'll be fun Nice. <laughs> Hopefully he's listening. And uh, yeah, yep. Blythe was in. Blythe was out from the get go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I doubt yeah, he's listening. Fun. Yeah, East Coasters. Yeah, I mean, we. we I mean, too. Willie came from the East Coast, but we just don't get a lot of Connecticut listeners on this podcast. Hey, I don't think. A good Unless, of course, we find him and send it to him. Oh, we're yeah. getting um, a call. Yep. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> <laughs> Connecticut. Blythe, this one's, this one's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, funny. life of the party. Her, your last day is Thursday, correct? Yes. Okay. Cool. So uh, we're losing two this week. So thank you so much for your time here. Have fun at college, and um, let us know if you ever need anything. Oh, thanks. That's awesome. Can you send? He uh, told me last week that if I came in with my anybody, he would. Uh, Say, tell him I'm in a meeting ah, <laughs> under right. his yep. desk. Yep. <laughs> Snapchats from his desk <laughs> under hiding. But, I uh, did. Yeah, you did. Well, we we I said, we it said this about somebody else. Oh. When did I say that? If you, what do you mean? If I came in, if she if came I, back to visit, if I came back to visit. Oh yeah, all communications all, cut yeah. off. <laughs> <That's> all, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Everybody, if Blythe shows up here, tell her I'm in a meeting. I'm a busy. <laughs> And puts on his story. I'm bored yeah. at my desk. I Super bored. <laughs> yeah. Really? Because I just saw him post. Him. <laughs> Anybody up? Um, no, yeah. You can, yeah, reach out. Reach out if you need anything. It may take me a little longer to text you back, but I'll text oh, yeah. you back. So, anyhow. Thanks. Can you send in Jordan? Yes. What do you want me to tell her? That she's in trouble. Yep. Nice. <laughs> So, on the reasons, I feel like if we get through everybody, well, Heat has one, and DB's farts is one of the reasons people would quit right now. So, so far, I think off to a pretty good start. What would be the reason you quit? <sighs> Man, I don't know. That's a tough one. I would have. To, I, would, I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Probably just the Heat. Yeah, I, I'd have to put another one. Not the heat, specifically the heat here, but just the heat in Texas in general. Fair enough. Jordan Halverstein. Halverson. Halverson. If you I, had to... What? Sorry, I was just going to say, I've gotten so used to everyone just saying that. It's Halverstein? Much, yeah, it's pretty much just my last name now. Um, If you had to pick a reason to quit, what would it be? Earlier I was saying the AC is a problem because it seems to blow on everyone else back here. And in the corner, I don't get any of it. Oh, you were being serious? It doesn't, you're right. We put you under that. Yeah, I'm under it. So it blows right over the top of me. You should put like a little (laughs) deal that like points it down. Yeah, like, yeah. Build something like a paper thing. Just a little Um, piece of cardboard, like tape it. There's three. Three for heat. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. It's not like the heat outside though doesn't bother me. Like working outside in the heat. I think just like sitting here at this computer and then like. 
back in this room, it's not so bad till about right now. Yeah. Right now it gets hot. pretty warm. Yeah, I'm pretty sweaty. You also hate the cold. Dude, I hate the cold. Hate the cold. Yeah. So I would much rather be hot than cold. Me too. I had, I lived in Wyoming in the summer and I was cold. <laughs> yeah. Um what have you ever been fired or quit a job? Um yeah. I haven't been fired. I've quit a couple jobs though. Yeah. Mostly for our injuries though. Like when I got my liver stepped on, I obviously had to quit because there was COVID, high risk after being on a ventilator. So kind of quit that job, kind of never said I was coming back. Yeah. They were really cool about it though. Like they knew that I was going to be moving on to different things. Like we kind of just knew that that wasn't going to be a forever job type deal. Well, and I feel like as a boss, if one of my employees were in a, you know, borderline life had a life ending injury um and they were in a induced coma <laughs> like <laughs> and then the pandemic happened and you're in a pandemic like i could just see like i wouldn't be surprised if something in their life had to change yeah you know what i mean yeah so like, i just kind of didn't go back that next conversation after they came back if they came back i mean you're going to be prepared for anything as a boss yeah like, this person may not want to work here anymore their their life changed. So Yeah, so that one I kinda kinda quit, kinda just we kinda both like just mutually agreed that I probably wasn't gonna come back to work there. And then the job I had in Wyoming I quit because I hated the people there. And then I got in a car wreck and broke my arm. So I was like, Well, I already hate you guys, so <laughs> so Flip you off with one hand. <laughs> yep. Yeah. They were yeah. bad. Um what about awkward breakups? Mm, probably when I was in that like dude my liver injury was probably like the most like I do not know how I was so happy because not only did I almost die my boyfriend cheated on me at the time and broke up with me while I was in the hospital like two days after I came out of my coma cold, uh, <laughs> <Still> cold. <laughs> text me the day I got home and said hey when are you gonna pay me for that bull like screw I thought you, you died <laughs> We were on a break. <laughs> <laughs> really thought you died. <laughs> yeah, so that one was kind of weird. Yeah. I mean. That's but, pretty awkward. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> and then to see him, I was like, screw you, you know? like. Yeah. But, yeah, that was pretty awkward. Well, thank you for your time here at Rodeo. T oh, wait, no, you're not leaving also. No. Okay. I will, okay. I will, gotcha. I will, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, sorry, we were just on a roll yeah. with like everybody leaving. You know, then you're the third one. You're the yeah. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> We've got yeah. a side pot that there's going to be somebody to quit on this podcast. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it'll be a great thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the YouTube channel. I mean, I was planning on leaving, but like just for a couple of days. <sighs> when are you leaving? Well, yeah, I was going to ask you about that. We'll talk about that. <laughs> <though>. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but I'm coming back. Yeah. Donnie probably wishes I wouldn't, but usually people just <laughs> communicate with Lisa. Yeah. Where's Willie today? He's having surgery. What? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> On what? Yeah. <laughs> On his teeth? Actually you did do Was he getting surgery? Out? You didn't notice he was walking funny? I noticed I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> the guy rides a bull. <laughs> Sorry everybody, Donnie's mic just fell. Mic yeah. drop. That, that cool. did happen though with Kevin today. <laughs> we didn't yeah. know Kevin. I'm sure, he, I'm sure he told Lisa, you know, which is fine. Like, I'm not mad. I was just curious where he was. But yeah, that's the cool thing about t shirts is, you know, most of the time that's, it's not very, there's nothing life threatening about the shirts, you know. It's not like, yeah, they can sit on the shelf an extra day. Mm -hmm. When, I mean, People got to go to the doctor or whatever, or there's somebody else that, to ship it. You know, I'm not saying someone's order isn't important. I'm just saying, like, it's a pretty simple thing we do here. So, well, if you could send in Kevin, if he's not here, send in Carson. Yeah, he's here. Okay, cool. Here. Yeah, send in Kevin. Let's 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 hear from Kevin. It'd be nice to I'm just. Sure he's gonna have a lot to say. Force Kevin to talk. <clears throat> Having edited quite a few of the podcasts Kevin's been on. His role is pretty easy to pretty edit. easy to edit. Yeah, I've yeah. he didn't say a word during the rump chat podcast, Not, uh, except for the end. It was all just, that was all it was. Yep. Yeah. 
But that's Kevin. That's our. That's our Kevin. That's our Kevin. Yep. <laughs> and here he comes now. Oh, he's looking awfully yellow today. Awfully yep. yellow. Well, at least staying away from Rodeo Arenas. Over here, getting the podcast. We're just walking here and staying nervously. I'm just standing in the middle of the room like you ain't got any sense. I didn't know. Everyone, this is Kevin Wayne Reed of Read Between the Lines on the Rodeo Show. A.K.A. GW. Nobody calls GW. you GW. AKA Everybody D- calls it AKA GW. A.K.A. Dollar, dollar Bill. A.K.A. AKA dollar Bill. <laughs> A.K.A. Gunslinger. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A.K.A. Gunsel. A.K.A. A- DJ Request. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, we got K-Dub, Kevin Wayne. Um, if you had to pick a reason to quit this job, what would it be? My coworkers. <laughs> That's a new category. All right, do, do elaborate. <laughs> Why do you have DB farts in all caps, but heat is in lowercase, and coworkers is in lowercase? Because DB farts, like we 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 gotta t- we're gonna touch back on that one. I have to remind myself. I didn't know if maybe you were just one of those people who randomly capitalized letters, like in the middle of a word or sentence. No, I'm not. Just, anyway, <laughs> reasons you would quit working at Rodeo Time. You can give us a couple if you got them. That's about it. Any coworker in particular? No. Just, just <laughs> you can foresee problems. Like you're the kind of guy that would have a problem with a coworker. Uh huh. <laughs> Why are you staring at Donnie so yeah. intently? No reason. <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> Donnie, Donnie's the one. That's that's your vote. You want to lock that one in. This is your chance. Hey man, I'm not naming names. Oh, you, you did, did name yeah, names did. on the po- on the last rodeo time. What are you talking about? I asked you. I said, "Who are your two least favorite co interns?" Yeah, that was Blythe and Carson. Carson, <laughs> 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 no hesitation at all. <laughs> now I remember. Blythe's oh, gonna be good. gone anyways. Carson's been all right today. That's why I forgot about him. Yeah. yeah. So it's a day to day thing. Yeah, day to day thing. Okay, who is it today? Could be Donnie. Could be Donnie. Why? I haven't even. This is the first time I've laid eyes on you today. I know. Is has it ever been me? Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> um, have there ever been times when you thought you were gonna get fired? Yeah. When I first started, <laughs> so I broke my collarbone like the second week, and I was like, "Well, <laughs> I'm useless. He's not gonna need me." Yeah. We talked about this when we were going to get feed. Me, you, and Reese. Uh. So. Kevin came in at a unique time. It was much like Donnie. Kevin and Donnie were very similar uh, origins here at Rodeo Time. We had multiple intern applications, you know, and we we had a lot on it. So uh, Donnie was going to finish school. Wes came right away. But I had remembered Donnie's video, and I was like, man, this is a good candidate. So I was like, hey, you can come. I don't necessarily need help. I needed way less help when Donnie came here than I did when you came here. So anyways, Donnie came on, stayed for like a month, didn't get didn't get paid for like a month, um, worked really hard, didn't have a lot for him to do you know, at certain times, and then until Lisa got a hold of him. And then Lisa put him to work. He was down for whatever. DFW, as I like to call it. He was DFW. <laughs> and uh, and then like two or three days in the warehouse, and Lisa was like, man, Donnie's killing it out there for these reasons. And uh, I was like, oh, cool. Let's put him on payroll. <clears throat> Same thing happened to, to K-Dub, <clears throat> G-Dub, and uh, Gunslinger, Dollar Bill. a.k.a. Dollar Bill. Um he can't, it was like, I think Willie, was it Willie? Yep. We had just brought on Willie, and we kind of had a full house, but we had an extra room, like housing. We had we had an extra room for you, and I remembered your video was a really good video, and you talked in your video. And so you, you led us to believe that you were going to talk when you got here. <laughs> and, uh, and so I was like, hey, we don't need a lot of help right now, but if you'd like to come, you can. And you wanted to get on bulls. And so it was like a true internship. You had to go a little bit longer from, uh, you know, and it's just one of those, there's been a lot of those instances where it's like we don't necessarily need a ton of help, but we could use you. 
and if you'd like to come. And um, then you caught Lisa's eye, and uh, same thing. Kevin's down for whatever, so we kept you here. So once you did that, like it's like it's really hard. It's almost like tenure as a professor. Like once you reach a certain point, you know, you get to like you're like there for life, you know, until you like. It's kind of like that. I'll say kind of. Yeah. Then you got the rodeo time tattoo. <laughs> I don't know what tenure is. What do you mean? It means they can't fire you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sweet. There's like professors that get tenure. I don't understand why they have it, but like you just can't get fired. Nice. Donnie, I'm about to change your tenure. What the <laughs> hell's going on over there? I don't know. This piece of crap. <laughs> yeah. I remember you messaged me and was like, we don't really need you. But you can come. <laughs> First like, line. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm there. I wanted to be honest. Yeah. You know, I wanted to be up front. But anyways, you came here and but yeah, why would I fire the guy who wasn't getting paid anyway? Yeah. <laughs> you know. But in my mind I was like, they already did need me. Now I'm down an arm. Right. <laughs> if, really he calls, if he just DB <laughs> just calls you in, it's like you need help packing? <laughs> <laughs> You need somebody yeah. able-bodied to help uh, you pack yeah. up. I just assumed you wanted to leave. Did you want to stay? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I would just leave it. <laughs> no, there's the... If if I call you in the room and it's me and Corey Anderson, <laughs> that's when you need to be nervous. <laughs> if the door is shut, I call you into the office and me and Corey Anderson are sitting in there. That's how you fire people? That's how you, That's when you need to get nervous. Really? No. What? Does You're going to do that to me purposefully now. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. Does Corey Anderson like firing people? I think he... I don't know if he likes firing them, but if, if he likes watching it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's his favorite thing to watch. I know he likes watching it. <laughs> yeah, to get rid of a guy Friday on there. <laughs> That's how those conversations go. <laughs> That's how they go. <laughs> He's one of the guys who was like back in the old days, like, oh, I got to go see the hanging. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got to be there. I got a pastor buddy of mine. He just, he likes to like help, you know, he likes to help people solve those problems. But like he'll be in the middle of like some problems. Right. You know, and he just like thrives in that environment. It's not like a, watching a Jerry Springer show kind of way, uh, but just like therapists, I guess, are like that. Lawyers are like that. Like, yeah. I, I couldn't do it. Right. Like, I've seen my lawyer go to work, and, and then it's just like at 5 o'clock, he just shuts it off. Yeah. And he's just like, yes, yeah, so where do you want to go for dinner? <laughs> I'm like, dude, <laughs> I'm having a panic attack right now from all this confrontation. <laughs> How can you even think about food? <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, um, were there other times you thought you were going to get fired? I think that's it. Is that it? Were there other times you were thinking about firing me? Twice no. in this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Twice in this No, there's not. Um, yes, there was. Yes, there was. <laughs> oh, no. I have them written down here. We're just not going to. Other jobs you've been fired from or quit. Didn't you get fired from the Chick-fil-A? I got fired from the Chick-fil-A. You got fired from a Chick-fil-A? <laughs> oh, yeah. I could see that. A Chick-fil-A. I was impolite to the customers. I could see. I was about, Well, I thought maybe you just wouldn't talk to them. It wasn't your pleasure? It was that, too. Yeah, they, you're supposed to, like, greet people when they walk in. I'm not doing that. Why? When you're 10 <laughs> steps over there, I got to look at you and be like, oh, we're going to Chick-fil-A. And then you look at me, and I watch you walk <laughs> these 10 steps. And then you get there. And, oh, yeah. That's too much. Is it? I kind of enjoy that That's facet. Too much. <laughs> I so I, I'm not having a part of. It. <laughs> I don't I'm care. with them on that, but I probably would have never tried to work the, at Chick Fil A. It was the fact they were always riding me about it. Like, you got to say my pleasure. You got to be not to the customers, <laughs> and it made me want to double down. So I just show up mad. <laughs> to Chick -fil -A. Thanks. <laughs> so. I've watched, been watching Lonesome Dove again recently, and like call is like very little pleasantries, you know, like Gus. He's dying. It's been quite a party, you know. That's what he says to his dying best friend. Um, like when when Dish quits, you'd be best advised to leave in the spring. Winters are hard in this country. Anyways, he's like, no, oh, I think I'll. And they shake hands. 
And then he nods, yep. turns and rides off, kind of has his hand out like this, you know, almost like he's like ridden him. You know, dude just helped the dude just navigated you all the way up to Montana, and it, he just nods at him. Anyways, I thought about yesterday. I was like, I wonder if I just started like Woodrow F. calling everybody, like when I leave a situation, you know, because like sometimes like. I'll take a goodbye to, you know, like I'm like hugging people, right. you know, like saying like, have a safe drive, wear your seatbelt, tell the, tell the family I said hello. I'm going to see them the next morning at eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> you know You're what I mean? right. You should be more of a jerk. I'm just saying. Like, I don't think it's a jerk. No, I no, I, I get what you're saying. Maybe you. I feel like I'm that way. You are that way. hundred percent. Yeah. You, I, sometimes I'll just like. I don't want to say goodbye, and I will try to leave without people seeing me leave. Sometimes yeah, I like yeah. that. What's yeah. that called? Is that an Irish goodbye? Yeah. What is that? He does it all the time at the house. We'll just be hanging out Or is at it the a house. pirate? It's no. an Irish goodbye. Pirate? <laughs> pirate? Pirate? Pirates have to do with short goodbyes. What the hell do Irish have to do with short goodbyes? Yeah, I point. believe it's a song. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're just making that up to justify giving me a hard time about it being a pirate. Well, yeah, I no thought song. of the pickup line, I'm going to Woodrow F. call you later. But anyhow, yeah. Well, you got that because of what I said. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna catch on. Anyhow, um, <laughs> yeah. Donnie is one of them. Like every night, because you're sitting in your saddle at side of Rodeo Blues, and I'm walking inside of the house, and I'm just like trying to have a moment with you every night. Okay, man. Well, it was a really good day today, and I'll see you tomorrow. I want you to be safe driving, and uh, yeah, you're doing good. And you'd be like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you're getting out of Donna. That's par for the course, man. Yeah. But the one thing I don't understand is like on all these movies where people hang up without saying goodbye. Do you guys agree with that? Could you just like finish a sentence and then just hang up and it not be you hanging up on someone? I'll do what's worse and I'll just awkwardly. On the phone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> me too. I'm like, I'm like waiting to see. I'm like, uh, I feel like we'll the, see you. You still yeah. there? Uh, yeah. Well, that's different. That's different. But I'm saying, like, some in some of these movies where they just like get off the phone, like that's like a psychopath thing. I can't think of any like, scenario. Yeah, scenario like movie scenario. Movies. Yeah, dude, I believe you, dude. I just, I, just, I, just. I've never noticed. I it. guarantee you, there's some people out there listening to this right now that are nodding their heads. Because, like, in movies, for some reason, like, people don't say bye. And it drives me up the wall. Like, because every normal human being, like, says at least see you later. Yeah, I say. Even if you're mad at somebody. Like, otherwise, it's hanging up on them and you're. Right. Purposely trying to be rude. I feel like that's the only time. Do you you know the phone calls in movies I'm talking about? I I know what you mean. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Mm -mm. For example, in the show 24. They're on the phone a lot. Sorry, I was just an example. That's, that sounds like yeah, and they're just always they just they give each other information and they hang up. There is no yeah. There could that's be, okay. That's exactly what there we're could have been about. a major conversation. You know, like we're watching two people on screen, but you think in that phone conversation you just said something important and then hung up. Dude, I'm telling you, watch yourself a handful of movies. At the end of phone calls in movies, they do not say goodbye. So, anyways, yeah. Um, Kevin got fired from Chick Fil A because he is. Um, impolite. I don't think it's impolite, Kevin. Thank you. Would have been impolite if you instead of saying. See, that was my polite. Yeah. See, I'm a polite guy. You said thank you. Why couldn't you just do that at Chick Fil A? Did I think it really was just because I was dating a coworker and my manager was okay. had it out for me. Little you didn't, yeah, I was about yeah. to say. Yeah. Now we got some new information. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were but, just sticking oh, it to the man. Me. Yeah. Poor me. <laughs> the headline readers yeah. of yeah. this were going to like really run with yeah. Chick-fil-A fires. Yeah, I thought young you young guy cuz he won't say my pleasure. Turns out do the, not dip your pen in the company ink. <laughs> 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 they made me drive all the way it was like 20 minutes from my house. They made you? Yeah. yeah. It's your they job, Kevin. Yeah, all right. No. Yep. You, gotta, you have to arrive when at your job. When they fired me, they couldn't oh, just okay. call oh. me. <laughs> I was just saying it. I was day. with you on that. The nerve yeah. of these people. I knew what he was saying, and I knew what you guys were saying. I was like, they're <laughs> He's trying to cross the road. The, the nerve of these people expecting me to show right. up in the morning hey, to my job. Easy. <laughs> 
<laughs> every like, day. Oh, they call me in like they a needed full me to time pick up a shift. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah Johnson. I get there and they're like, "You're extinguished." Because their Chick Fil A is too good to use the word. That's fire. what they said. They said extinguished. What does that mean? As so, if they snuffed out your flame. <laughs> All right, I'll be yeah. back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the hell well, that means. So. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> so do you? Um, do you not like to eat there now? No, nah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, have not, you had? Sorry, go ahead. You know, because like the next week I had a job at Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> You just weren't Chick Fil A material. Now that like, <laughs> I can totally picture you. My cousin got me on a Dairy Queen dog. <laughs> Dude, that is the most. You say some redneck hey, stuff, you're <laughs> but that is that might top the list. You backwoods <laughs> Tennessee <laughs> redneck ass. So. <laughs> My cousin got no. I'm good, Dad. My cousin got me a job over at Dairy Queen. Things keep going the way they're going. I'm be general manager by the end of summer. <laughs> Employee discount, free soft serve. <laughs> Things have been going pretty good for old GW. <laughs> old dollar bill, old dollar dude. Bill. <laughs> I'd flip the burgers and they'd slap the roof, and then like the asbestos dust would fall on the grill. Scrape it off. You are like, <laughs> I can, like, you are the guy that you works You would that not life. flip the burgers. Into oh, yeah. This, into as you high high as, as I could. You were a fry cook. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes got big. As high as I could. <laughs> oh. I quote SpongeBob. I was like 16. Dude. Watching SpongeBob. Anyhow. <laughs> you are the guy behind it. Dude, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, you're the kind of guy that I can, like, like, you might work here. For rodeo time for like 15 years. Yeah. Is that not good? I love it. Sweet. I think it's great. Absolutely, it's good. Cole, you can be here. You see that again? Nope. <laughs> he's not the he's, he's not, not the type. Really yeah. radio time material. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told many times this place would be fine without me. I, <laughs> You've been extinguished. <laughs> <laughs> what does I that told, even mean? I told Kevin, like I can see, twelve years from now, me and Kevin sitting at my dinner table. <laughs> Our wives each on the couch. <laughs> Our kids each playing in the ground. And we're just on the ground in front of the, in the living right. room. And we're just talking about work. And we're just talking. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else is <laughs> going. <laughs> Lisa. And by the way, his wife will be a brill. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, like, that's what I picture. He's a company in man. 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else is welcome to stay. Something tells me that like there'll be mo most people like what and and just like good like I'm not saying like I'm firing everybody. I'm just saying like you know like twelve years is a long ass time from now. You what know? you're like, saying is you don't see anything better for Kevin in his future. <laughs> <laughs> There's everybody else he sees possibilities, <laughs> but with you, he said it a lot. This is, hey, the buddy, way you worded it. Yeah, this is as high as it's gonna get, buddy. <laughs> this is your ceiling. <laughs> This is it. You're welcome. Okay. I don't throw the word peaked out a whole lot. <laughs> You're talking about the guy who left Chick-fil-A to work at Dairy Queen. Well, okay. Like dude. He didn't leave. I think your background character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he you, got told. To how go did away. you how did you did you get ex extinguished from Dairy Queen? No, I quit there to mow yards. <laughs> okay. Was that for yourself or for someone? For myself. At a boy. Yeah. I'm not saying you've lived the life of a yeah, background. Short -lived. <laughs> I'm not saying you've lived the life of a background YouTube character, but <laughs> I feel like all roads point to here. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds more like a background character on King of the Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's got the ability to do whatever he wants to do. That is not what you said. It's not what you said, man. Kevin has He's the, uh, He He's just. I'm not backpedaling because you might not like this next statement. <laughs> the company's growing. We never know what you're going to be doing. Kevin has the ability to do whatever he wants. He just seems like the kind of guy that would decide not to. 
<laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, so you don't have any aspirations. That's what he's trying no to ambition. say. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying either. Yep. Kevin has no ambition. Yep. I feel <laughs> like Kevin is happy here. I feel like he's at peace here. Like I am. I'm okay with doing the same thing I'm doing in 12 years. It's not so bad, Cole. He runs the company. Yeah, he's probably <laughs> content with this position. He's the boss. Yeah, hey, man, you ever want to just like his take a few steps down the, the ladder? Yeah. <laughs> You fold it T-shirts with his face hey. on them all day. Who wouldn't want to be that guy? Hey, you but know. thank Donnie, in 12 years, <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> my face is on a shirt <laughs> after 12 years. Just one. Just yeah, one. Yeah, Donnie, you're on a shirt. Yeah. Leroy's on a shirt. Took me three years to do it. Yeah, it took him three years. Kevin, think about 12. Taking him three years. <laughs> <laughs> you know who else is still going to be here in, in 12 years? Willie Wordle. Willie, too. Yes, him. But Lisa. There's nothing wrong with Lisa's job. No. Nobody's going to throw rocks at her being here in 12 years. That's not a negative thing. Lisa is also in charge of people. Kevin will be in charge of people. Okay, we'll see. Now we're setting some goals out. <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> now, we're now we're putting some, you know, oh. things to achieve. I didn't say the guy was going to have the same position in 12 years. I just said he's going to work for the same company. Yeah, I'm just... Or maybe not. I mean, like, there's multiple <laughs> companies under this roof. So, like, I could see Kevin running one of them. Okay, see, that's very different than what you said earlier. That's the only point I was making. Okay, fair enough. See, Kevin, that's a compliment. Yeah. I could see this. I could see Kevin and Lisa running this place. And then Abril is probably not going to be working here because as a married couple, they just <laughs> like that break from each other. Right. At work. She's holiday help. And somebody's going to need to, you know, take care of the kiddos. How many times have you thought about this? The ninos, if you will. Probably more than you would guess. So, I like I like the idea of long-term employees. And you seem like one of those guys, like, I'm buying you a watch. So, <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? You can, oh, no. you can have dinner oh, at my house. No. Like 10 Kevin, years. Kevin Wayne Reed, is that a Roly you're wearing? <laughs> yeah, I got it at work. My 20 year gift. <laughs> My dad's company gives him watches because he's been there for like 20 years. Okay. Thank you. I'm just, dare I say, uh, called it? <laughs> <laughs> you're right. There is something to look forward to in it's, 20 it's years. It's in his DNA. You're going to get a watch. 20 years. You work for me in 20 years, you're getting a Roly. I'm not saying you're going to get paid the same till you get there. There's no promotions. That's all you have to look forward to. But, like, my guarantee to you, I'm going years. to buy you a Roly. And, if Donnie, that extends to you also. Oh, <clears throat> not you, Cole. You, he's, already, he's made it explicitly clear <laughs> that I'm not supposed to be here for much longer. <laughs> We've got to bet going someone might quit during this podcast, and I've got a feeling it might be cold. <laughs> Because we're just talking about like getting fired or quitting or that's kind of like the topic of this podcast. And so like we just were talking like, wouldn't that be funny if somebody quit during the podcast and might like yeah. this guy? Yeah, wouldn't it be hilarious? Hey, Blythe. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. Not a company, man. Can you replace a battery for me in this middle camera? We are at an hour and a half. How long do you want this podcast to go? As long as it needs to. Oh, no, I'm fine with that. I was Dude, just... I've been listening to this one guy. Well, a few of them. You know, Joe Rogan's podcasts are long. Um, Sean Ryan, I listened yeah. to his yesterday. Um, it was like almost a four hour podcast, dude. Jocko's he's put Jocko's up some four, four or five hour like, podcast. Jocko will yeah. read a book, yeah, which is um, insane unless you have the voice of Jocko, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Theo Vaughn's are usually pretty, yeah. Um, we've got shorter ones, right? But we just got to get through all the interns, yeah. No, I think we're, we're. We're emotionally committed. Can you at turn this point. it? So I, there you go. At a girl. Um. What else? So awkward breakups. You ever had an awkward breakup? I mean, yeah. You don't have any more breakups coming, by the way. Yeah. No. It's you and a brill here at Rodeo Time. You're. You have now. You've gotten off all the. Um. All the like. 
zipty doos at the water park and the big slides. You're on the lazy river, baby. You're going <laughs> to wrap up the day. Out. You're going to coast gonna, it in on the lazy river. Going to yep. coast the rest of my days out here at Rodeo Top. Doesn't okay. get any better. Doesn't get any worse. Dude, you got... <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. I thought I picked up on that analogy. <laughs> you, you got, you got. Dude, you need to quit. You got a tattoo of rodeo time, and you got a tattoo of her initials. He's also got a tattoo of live fast on his on his. Yeah, he's eye. got it. That he's got all of the things on his life and bananas and cherries. Dude, once Blythe and, and Reese leave, I'm be the only intern without a rodeo time tattoo. Donnie. Donnie's got his. Well, his he's is, got the cattle he's company. Got, he's got a different one. Yeah, but I mean, it's still but in association with. Donnie's got the coolest one. Against Donnie's got the coolest one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got if you add feathers to that skull. Yeah, you me, be, you're back in the running. Me bringing my tattoo artist of a fiance down here was a terrible move. Oh, it was a I great mean, it's move. yeah. It's awesome, except now the thought process required to get a tattoo just takes that much quicker. <laughs> so Kevin had a pretty cool skull on his arm yeah. already. And then, did I suggest it? Yeah, because me and Willie were going to go get something else. And you're and like, hey, how about rodeo time? I said I'd pay for it. Yeah. And so you got rodeo time. I was like, you should get it right above this already existing skull you have. But and, now you just got to add the feathers. And we got a mulligan. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you get a mulligan. I paid for the tattoo, and you get a mulligan Yep, for, like, your job, meaning, like, they could mess up and they don't lose their job. Have we used it yet? Mm. What if in 20 years you still haven't used it? Do you get to cash that in somehow? Just walk yeah, in, just like, slap yeah. the shit out of Dale Brown. <laughs> 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 mulligan. <laughs> mulligan. <laughs> mulligan. <laughs> no, you, know you, gotta, you gotta add the B word after it. <laughs> mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I'll know. So Wait. like if you're if you're in trouble, you say mulligan and then call me the B word. Wait till he's in a meeting or something. And D V just has to like it's a long story, guys. <laughs> Listen to part Rodeo Time Podcast 104. Uh, I gotta let him do it. I'm a man of my word. Oh. Uh, so um man. Are you excited about everything we've just talked about? Hey, uh while you're out there, grab uh, Carson. Are you excited about everything we just talked about? Super excited. Yeah? Yeah. Your inability to advance? I'm talking about like yeah. how I just mapped out your life. Because you're still riding bulls through all that, I might add. Yeah. So you're riding bulls. You're working for Dale Brisby. You're, you've got an awesome family. You live in Winnebago, Texas. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> your boss, everything is just... Dude, just personal silent. friends with Dale Brisby. Not a bad life, Kevin. Thank you, Cole. <laughs> You're leaving. <laughs> no, I'm not. I have no I have no anyway. plans to leave. <clears throat> well, thank you, Kevin. Your work here is appreciated. Um, and uh, if you could, send in Carson. Sweet. Carson, <clears throat> if you had... <laughs> like I'm on trial. To, you kind of are. If you had to pick a reason as to why you would quit working for Rodeo Time, what would it be? Into the mic, please. Like, if you were quitting. If I was quitting? Why do you think you would quit here? If you just had to guess. I know you don't picture yourself leaving. Maybe if you made me live with Cole. Okay. That's not. A, that's a possibility. That's not a reason. I would. I would say uh, if we put down coworkers. Okay. That's yeah. One for that, coworkers. Yep. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So, like coworker related reasons. Yeah. When you so gonna, we, we've you, got coworker related reasons. Dale Brisby's farting, and heat. heat. No, the heat doesn't bother me as much. In or is what, there any outside? Anything other? In what scenario are you going to are you going to move in with Grace and I? No, I, he was just saying hypothetical situations. Yeah, you're reading too yeah. far into yeah, this. Yeah, all right. Anyhow, yeah. it's, it's, chill, chill. it's hypothetical. <laughs> yeah, if Donnie left, I'd probably leave. Did we make that shirt? It's one of the it's one of the old ones. Okay. Anyways, if Donnie left, what? I'd probably leave if Donnie left. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like if. <laughs> 
Because if Donnie leaves, I'm going to have to do some rearranging, apparently. <laughs> yeah, just no. Okay. But if I leave, I don't think Donnie would leave. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Donnie, would you leave if... I'd be... Wait, if so if Donnie just leaves or if Donnie got fired? Either one. Okay. Would you leave or would you just be uh, sad that Carson leaves? Maybe. Maybe. Man, I'd just be inconsolable. <laughs> is there for like anyone 10 else? <laughs> is there anyone else? Like if I like who else who's on the list if they got either fired or quit that you would be gone? So it's not really I wouldn't put them on the list, but me and Kevin do have a couple plans if we get fired. Okay. One of them is move to Stephenville, move into a single wide, and get jobs at like Chick fil A or something like that. So Kevin's probably not going to work at Chick fil A. <laughs> yeah. Just so you know. <laughs> Did he tell you? Just so you know. <laughs> yeah. He's not Chick fil A material. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he's been then, extinguished. <laughs> here, re- <laughs> here recently, it's we're going to enlist. Oh. But we're going to shop around and see who gives us the best deal. We're trying to get to Hawaii. Oh, I think, I mean, the Marines are in, the yeah. Marines have a base there, don't they? Mm-hmm. What what different branches are in Hawaii outside the Marines, do you know? Probably the Navy. Probably the Navy. Navy, Navy yeah. and the Marines. I bet the Air Force is probably yeah. in Hawaii somewhere. Yeah. So, we'll the just. Army. I bet all four yeah. big branches are. Are the Army? I, I mean, it's Hawaii, so the Coast Guard probably. <laughs> There's probably a National Guard in Hawaii. Yeah. Because it's a state. So, we'll shop around and see who will give us the best deal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We'll start shopping, buddy. Because <laughs> we fired Kevin. <laughs> you fired Kevin? No, but we've okay. we've got kind of like a little bet going as to if someone were to quit while on this podcast, who it was going to be or, you know. Hmm. My thinking is Cole's probably going to quit by the end of the podcast. That wouldn't be all bad. <laughs> yes, I wrote the topics for these podcasts so I could quit. This would be a good icebreaker for the conversation. <laughs> um, have there been times at this job when you thought you might lose your job? No, I don't think so. What? Have there been times at <laughs> this job where you thought I might lose my job? <laughs> no. No. Yeah, I haven't really made any mistakes, huh? <laughs> I did get my mom on April Fool's, though. <clears throat> what did you tell her? I texted her, and I was like, hey, it's an emergency. Call me. And she called me immediately, and I was like, I messed up. I killed Boone. I fed him total bull. I fed him a lot of it, and he died. <laughs> <laughs> I fed him, like, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, all right, I got to go. And then I hung up, so she's, like, blowing my phone up. Like, Bubby, what, what are you going to do? Like, you got to figure she this out. She calls you what? Bubby. Really? Yeah. That's what, that's what uh, my cousin's name is. Hmm. Like on his birth certificate? And his name is Bubby? No, his real name is Jasper, but they called him Bubby. That Everybody calls out. my sister Sissy. Dude, you look like Bubby. Your cousin? You yeah. said that I looked like your cousin before. Well, his brother. That's You look more like, yeah, Thumper. <laughs> Not his given name. Given name is Newt. Oh, TC. Man. Jasper, Jasper <laughs> and Newt. Me. Jasper and Newt are their names. But... Yeah, uh, Bubby and Thumper are what we called them when we were like little, little. Anyways, you look like Thumper, but anyhow, that's interesting. You might have just bought yourself some more time here. I, a, <clears throat> I already have a mulligan because of the tattoo. Right. Yeah. Kevin was talking about like at some point when I'm in a really serious meeting with some people, he's going to come in and slap me, call me the B <laughs> word, and say mulligan B words. <laughs> it was kind of an idea we gave him. I if like it. If he's here in like 20 years. I told him that if, if, if and this offer extends to you, if you're here for 20 years, you get a roly. Like a roly poly? No. <laughs> Weirdo. A Rolex. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is this your cousin, Bubby? Yep. Let me see. Are you the the young Jamie of those podcasts now? Dude, that's a, he's making a funny face. I don't really know what he's doing here. That's a funny face. He's a funny dude. I, I don't my see cousin. it. I mean, there it is. Yeah, that's oh, okay. I yeah. see what Dude, it is. That's Carson. Yeah, it's that's because Carson. we're both huge. His dad played for uh, the Oakland Raiders. Hmm. Or wh- where were they back then when he played for them? They were in Oakland. L.A.? Oakland. They might have been in L.A. That's funny. <laughs> my mom spent some time in Oakland. 
This was a big, <laughs> stout man. I don't see it. I remember whenever I was a kid, the first time he came and stayed at our house that I can remember, like his dad, like we, we lived 4.2 miles from town. And I remember him taking off running, and I remember him showing back up. And I was like, this man just ran eight miles. I didn't even know it was physically <laughs> possible. <laughs> he, this man ran eight miles. Like, Actually, I mean, a he mountain. ran 8.4 miles. <laughs> he's got a point. <laughs> he's, he's taller than Gabe, taller than uh, what's his nuts over there that's leaving? Reese. Reese, like Blythe. Big man. <laughs> Blythe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyways, whatever. So yeah, naturally Bubby is also super stout. <clears throat> Canacuck. You ever been over there to the camp? It's in Missouri. I've heard of it. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah Blythe been there. was an instructor there. He was an instructor there. So that would have been way too eerie. Anyhow, enough about my cousin. <laughs> so has there ever been a time that you wanted to quit? That I wanted to quit? Yeah. Was it Dale Brisby related or coworker related? Coal related. What? <laughs> there was a period of time where you had me thinking that you were, you were HR and I couldn't go anywhere with my problems. <laughs> so I was like, there's no way out of this cycle. <laughs> no, I am HR, but most people go to Lisa for her problems. And that was when you had us all convinced that you were gay. <laughs> which, okay, so we're just putting it all out there on this one. <laughs> I'm just saying... That's when I had to fit. That's when I felt like I needed to create an HR. <laughs> <laughs> just, to cover my, just to cover myself. Like, all right, got a gay employee. <laughs> might need to create an HR department <laughs> so that if he ever has an issue, he can come talk to me. I don't see what the big deal can is. Can you tell him the moment that, that it got also, serious? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So Leroy comes in. <laughs> He comes in the office and he was like, hey, I just want to let you know Carson is gay. I was like, <laughs> like, yeah, okay, a little too far, but okay. <laughs> and he's like, no, 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 Carson's gay. He's like, I don't think he is, man. I think he was just messing with us the other day. The dude just told me in the parking lot, <laughs> straight-faced, I am a homosexual. I was like... All right, maybe he is. <laughs> we'll see. So we'll, so we'll see. Okay <laughs> then. So we'll see. So uh, yeah, rock along there. I think I don't know how long I went thinking that. Well, um, the trip back from Vegas. So we got it, through we got, Vegas. I'm still thinking it. Yeah, and we just the, remember the, the car there, ride back like two weeks before. Yeah, that was well. Th that's when Leroy told me. Leroy told me when we were. Oh, maybe maybe we were. You kind of half a halfway. <laughs> you said told that us. before we went to Vegas. No, no, I think it was on Vegas. Whenever you first joked about it, then after Vegas, you told Leroy that. Yeah, then Leroy yeah, came yeah, into the yeah, office, yeah. and then me, you, and Willie were out at West Camp. And you got out yeah. to feed. And I asked Willie, I was like, hey, and I had not told anyone, you know, because I was like, I didn't, I don't know. I just didn't want to embarrass him if he was or wasn't. You were waiting for the HR department. To get in. <laughs> <laughs> so I asked Willie, I was like, because Willie was living with, y'all were living together at the time. I was like, hey, is Carson gay? <laughs> and he was like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Hasn't said anything to me about it. <laughs> And uh, and I was like, if anybody knew, it'd be his roommate. And uh, and then you got in the truck. Yeah, I get in the truck, and he's like, so why'd you and your girlfriend break up? And I gave him like this serious, like heartfelt answer, thinking that he was just curious about my past. No, these jokers thought I was gay. And they, <laughs> that's all they wanted out of me. <laughs> I just wanted clarification, you know, because like at first I thought it was a joke. Leroy told me it was not. And then I was like, we better just make sure, make sure, you know, that way nobody says anything or like, because if they think he's joking, blah, 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 like whatever. Like, I wasn't going to fire you if you were. I was just curious. It took some solid convincing after that. <laughs> and and then, <laughs> then I really appreciated your sense of humor. Oh, I doubled down on that bit. <laughs> just, just because like, like, that's just not something like straight guys usually joke about. So, like, the fact that you did was, like, 
we might have a we might have a comedian in our midst <laughs> is what made me but Leroy, golly, that joker was convinced. Please tell me about that conversation. Oh yeah, it wasn't even a big deal. <laughs> so like I was walking in, I saw Leroy <clears throat> over by his car and I thought he was just standing there cuz he used he was just, he just he used to just show up and like hang out. Yeah. And I walked up like, "Hey, what's up, man?" And he was peeing. I was like, "Oh, my bad." He was like, "It's fine as long as you don't look at it or something like that." <laughs> He was like, as long as you're not gay or something like that. <laughs> and then I, I just like kind of like turned away and I was like, yeah, I am though. <laughs> I was like, no, I am. Did you just see Leroy? <laughs> but, Did you see Leroy just straighten up? And just, so like, <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, well, better turn, man. <laughs> the, the way he describes it, I was like, I'm gay. And then just like, look off. <laughs> I was like, like stoic. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Which is pretty much what happened, but. Well. Oh. Uh, Rest assured, we all know Carson's not gay. And you know what? If you want us to take this out of the podcast, we can. But no, I think it's funny. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. And I have a lot of respect for you for being able to like be that comfortable with your sexuality that you can make that joke. Well, you know? they <laughs> like, were, like Sunshine. Yeah. On, uh, what's that oh, movie? Remember the Titans. Remember the yeah. Titans. Wasn't Sunshine actually gay though? No. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Oh. I don't think so. Because he's like, sunshine from California. Right. You know? And then he kind of leaned into it. Yeah. They were all making fun of him. So he just like, like 8 Mile. Like Eminem and 8 Mile. Yeah. They're, they're like rabbit. dissing him. And he's like, man, how do I win this? And then he made fun of himself. And the other guy was like, yeah, I got nothing. I'm pretty good at making fun of myself. <clears throat> You're really good at it. <laughs> Meaning like. like He's just got so much material to work with. It's not <laughs> fair. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying like so many of us. When we are all joking around, our knee jerk reaction is to like go to the like self defend, like we defend ourselves. Yeah. And it's all about like saving face, staying tough, make it, you know, but, Not but Carson. he'll cave <laughs> right away. And then as the aggressor in the joking, you're just like, now what do I do? Right. Yeah. <laughs> and it's over. And for you, it's like stress free. You don't have to argue anymore. And everybody's laughing. It's Pretty the G great. way to go. That's that's a G. I'm the big top G. Big G. Yeah, I, <laughs> wish you'd, I wish you'd quit saying, you know, to other guys that come around, though, like, hey, nice boots, and then grabbing their butt. <laughs> All right. You know what that I mean? That doesn't happen. <laughs> yes, it has. You did it in here. <laughs> to who? Donnie. Or I don't remember who it was. Okay, well, Donnie's, Donnie's got that dog. Donnie's got that dump. <laughs> oh, <laughs> While we're totally on the topic, just, should we tell him? Totally about justified. That? Donnie's you know got that dumpy. <laughs> it's a good thing we don't have an HR. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Have you ever had an um, awkward breakup with a guy or a girl? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that matters. <laughs> it's a safe spot. Awkward. <laughs> Yeah. Let's hear it. So like, I pretty much only had like one real girlfriend. Yeah. And so we, we broke up and then got back together. But so the first time we broke up, she like <clears throat> went to my mom for consolation uh -oh. to be consoled. And so it wasn't awkward for me because I was like, my I was just, yeah, 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 it's done. But my mom has to like now deal with this woman. <laughs> this poor. Yeah. Yeah. How long did y'all date? Three years total. Okay, that's a long time. I could see that. No, but before that, it was a year, and then we dated for, like, the whole time we dated, it was, like, three years or something like that. Right. I, I, I could see why she would go. I mean, like, the mom was probably a pretty good friend. Yeah. To this person. I mean, yeah. you spend three years around somebody, yeah. you're going to be buddies. I get that. Yeah, we were talking about awkward breakups a while ago. It was the opposite. Like, this girl broke up with me, and I was like, okay. And just walked out. <laughs> <laughs> I literally maybe said one full sentence. It was something like, all right, well, I'll see you around. And left. And she texted Dang. me. She was like, that's it? <laughs> I was like, you're the one broke up with me. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. Um, Other than that, I don't. Just like wouldn't talk to him anymore. Yeah. I, I had a buddy who his girlfriend like, did some stuff that she deserved to be broken up with. And then instead of saying anything, he just never communicated with her again. He was like, she'll get the picture. Wow. <laughs> Bold yeah, and strategy. They dated for a long time. <laughs> Dang. Mm. Yeah. Well, 
uh, thank you for your time here. Thank you for um, your service. You're um, working on your first year, 19 more to go, and you got a rollie coming. So. Okay. Can you send in Gabriel? I don't know who else is out there. Yeah. I think it's just Gabe. See the last yeah, one? Carlos. Or, or Willie. And Carlos. Willie, yeah. Willie. Willie's gone, though. Willie's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did he come here expecting to work? No, he came here to just get his laptop. Ah. Ah. Uh, one. Yeah, if, send us uh, uh, Gabe. What if when you go to hand somebody their 20-year Rolex, like the other alternative package is like, or a weekend free in Fort Worth, and you're just like really push it, you know what I mean? Like, you can, <laughs> <laughs> Sure, you don't want to go stay at the stockyard? Hey, hear me out. Look at this watch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, especially because if, like, a lot of people in this group stay, like, that's going to be a lot of Rolexes right at once. Dude, like, right bam, at bam, once. bam, bam. Yeah. <laughs> that 20-year mark is going to hit. Donnie, where are you going to be in 20 years? You're not going to be in trouble if you stay somewhere else. I don't see myself going anywhere else right now. Dude, Donnie <laughs> had the best answer to that question. This is when I was first here. We were um, we were helping somebody move cows. We are in the pickup, and we were all just – it was Donnie, Willie, and I – and somebody asked the question, where oh, do you see yeah. yourself in five years? And Donnie goes, at the NFR, working a booth for Dale Brisbane. <laughs> <laughs> and I, had to, I was like, you know what? That was a great answer. You know what? I, 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 I was, that was good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, you get a rollie if you're here for your 20 years. If you're, we, we, we made that rule. Yep. Rollie? <laughs> Rolex. Oh, you're from L.A. I thought yes. you knew, like, lingo. You didn't know that's what they called no, Rolexes? I, I, I try to stay away from that lingo because I won't reach it, you know? Yeah. I like to get one. Yeah. I don't wear watches. But anyways. Nah, fair enough. Gabriel Bresenio. Bresenio. Welcome. Thank you. We're just <laughs> having talking about um, awkward. <laughs> well, it started with quitting, getting fired, et cetera, and now we're just asking interns different stories have you ever sure. been fired from somewhere yes or, or quit i've been i've quit a few and been fired once yeah how'd that go uh i got fired <clears throat> i don't like to say because it, it was family involved but i got fired at a bar i, I, I used to work in downtown la it was an underground bar it was my brother's 26th birthday 25th and then uh anywho my cousins <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're pretty they're from east la and, so, you know, I don't know if you can sum up those two, alcohol and getting into brawls. And, and you're already, like, cousins, so you probably cousin, are, yeah. like, prone to argue more. Yeah, so they ended up, uh, we, were, we had a VIP section on stage, and, and he, yeah, it was just yeah. a little fight broke out. And then I got pissed because I was, I was, like, I got pissed at them, and I got pissed at my boss because we were all, <laughs> everybody were getting kicked out. And I was like, we just spent $800 on all this bottle service. You kicking Dang. us out. Anywho. Uh, were you this big? Huh? Like in the range of 200, yeah. Dang. And then... Uh, For those of you just listening, Gabriel is massive. What do you think you could bench press right now? Uh, I did 315 for four by threes. Four sets of three? Dang. Yeah. Did you need help? It's only three pounds. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's only three reps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I can only do 315 like two two times. Oh, yeah. I don't think I get. <laughs> What's the East LA <laughs> thing? Is East LA like bad? Do they know for fighting? It's 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 just the ghetto. You know? Well, not it would. I wouldn't say it's it's the ghetto, but it's it's definitely pretty hood. Yeah. You know? I, yeah. Sorry, I I had no frame of reference. I don't know if the, which side is the good side know. of I mean, LA. There's, yeah. there's a lot, there's a lot <laughs> of towns good. always get worse if you go south. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, and then yeah, I guess I was a I was a threat. They called me for bringing in people like that, so they let me go. Uh. Dang. Oh, yeah. it was they were just visiting your family. Well, they, was they, they lived, they lived, but they were we were celebrating my brother's birthday at gotcha. my bar. Gotcha, gotcha. You brought in eight hundred dollars worth of bottle service, and they fired Seven, you for it. Seven, yeah. Dang. Well, that just seems a bit. Yeah, we bought a bunch more. I don't care if they do fight. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Oh well, gotta have your family's back. It is, but it was, it was, it was. I, I at the end, it was a good thing. I wasn't. I was, yeah. No, I was. That was a bad place to work. There's well, that's a good. lot of bad things. We've right. got a tally going. Okay. Reasons. If if you had to guess a reason someone would quit this job, what would it be? 
I imagine it's it's anybody out in the warehouse with the heat. That's four. That'd be four. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we got four right. for heat. We got one for Dale Brisby farting, and we got two for coworkers. Who were the coworkers? One of them was Cole. One of them was me. The other one was Donnie. I didn't get Blythe, it. I didn't get Blythe it. Blythe and Carson. Yep, that's right. Yep, Kevin, Kevin said, said that. Kevin said Blythe and what Carson. What if this is this is how HR really should solve problems? Right now, we got a pretty mm-hmm. good gauge on everything wrong in the warehouse right yep. now. We've Anyhow. already lost one person this year to the heat because of the heat. I didn't know we lost anybody. Did we now? Yeah, I'm, that's the only thing I can think. She gone. She's she wasn't in the heat though. Yes, huh? Not her. Oh, <laughs> yeah, not Blythe. But um, yeah. So the Heat is currently winning. Um, were there times at this job where you thought you were gonna get fired? <laughs> no, I wouldn't think so. I, I I figured I'd get in trouble with the one time I was uh, unhi- unhitching your 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 gooseneck and I forgot to take out the adapter on your truck and I drove off and no. That was like a. I got. I do remember that. That was. Like, I got back from. Uh, working and i think i was here Mm -hmm. and it was after five i was tired i don't remember i'd got back from a trip and maybe like i'd already unloaded the horses i had done everything except unhook the trailer maybe i was at the ranch and you came up and you're like boss would you like me to do this for you like man that'd be awesome but you were like on your way it was after work and it was like you were you you it was a completely an accident while you were doing something above and beyond that was like a kind thing yeah there's no way I didn't even tell you for the longest. I don't. I don't think you I did, told you. Yeah. I think you found out some other way. You, it was, we were at we were at we were at your house, and then you're like, "Man, like, oh yeah, this broke. I need to, I need to buy a part for it." And you were like super quiet, and I was like, "Yeah, that that's probably that was me. That was me." And then you were like, "Yeah, I was wondering when you were gonna say it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's been. Was it Wes that backed up and broke the tail light on that round metal building? That it must have been West because you don't even remember it. I thought it might it was either you or West, but like on the half top trailer. No, it was on the thirty six. No. Anyway, he broke the tail light off. Like I don't know, little stuff like that, man. It's just people make. There's there's accidents. There's some things where like I've had like one or two people in particular that were like, yeah, I don't know, like just like there's certain things about like, all right, if if you. Yeah, I, I would just tell him these one or two things I really needed him to do, especially when it's about, like, water and animals and then just, like, repeatedly, all right, third, fourth time, all right, we don't need to do this thing anymore anyway. But that was just – I would get a little frustrated. But even then, if it's, like, just a sincerely an accident, like, that's not really worth firing somebody over. For instance, Kevin, you know, when he broke his collarbone, you know, it's not like we're hanging sheetrock, you know. Like, yeah. <laughs> So, <clears throat> Kevin, that was Kevin Steele. He thought he was going to get fired after he broke his That's collarbone. Cool. Yeah, poor thing. It's a, it's a good thing he didn't, too, because he's broke his collarbone like three times. <laughs> <laughs> we did have such a high turnover. Yeah. yeah. He, he was here for like two weeks only, right, when he broke his collarbone? Yeah, it wasn't long. Yeah. It was the second bull he got on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> poor thing. That arena was hard as this table, and Pet did drive him into the dirt, and when he got up, I knew it. I was like, ooh, because I broke my collarbone three times also. Ah, dang. But anyhow, yeah, we use the same doctor. Mm. You ever had any awkward breakup? You've been with the same girl pretty much the whole time. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, we, my wife now, we broke up once. Yeah. That was pretty awkward. <laughs> <laughs> she done, she done did me at the, I tell you now, know me, I tell in front of everybody. She went to my bar I worked at and broke up with me in front of, right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, because she wanted to go do the, uh, Go to the military or something, huh? Uh, no, that was. I guess we broke up. No, that was mutual. That <laughs> was mu- <laughs> twice. That was that was a. That, I wouldn't consider that a mutual uh, breakup. That was a mutual thing where I was like, let's let's go on our own separate ways. Yeah. But the, the only time we were that was pretty young. I think I was like twenty one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's all right. Somebody broke up with Jordan because she died. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah. No, that would, when she was in the hospital. Really, yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Well, who do we have left? Carlos. Yep. Got one more. All right. Can you send Carlos in? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Gabe. Yeah, it's starting to get hot back here. We've been here a while. We've been here a while. We've been here a hot minute. These these show lights are hot. Yeah. There's just no air moving. We're getting down to the last couple as far as if people are going to quit during the podcast. Yeah. 
Dude, I'm more excited for these 20 year Rolexes. Is it is it making you rethink? Oh no, I'm not gonna stay. I just I just <laughs> I don't need a Rolex. I don't want a Rolex either. <laughs> no, but I can pawn yeah, that. Yeah, I can pawn that thing. Can we do something besides a watch? I ain't ever worn a watch. <laughs> Have you ever worn these? I mean, in 20 years, Rolexes are liable to be a lot like these Apple watches where they'll like monitor your workouts and so on and so forth. And still tell the time. And still tell the time. It's yeah. crazy how like watches became irrelevant and then like Apple made them relevant again. Yeah, I don't know. I still like just a regular old watch. Regular time You know time what I mean? Piece. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's just me. What else would a 20-year rodeo time, like just like this is a limited run of this shirt. <laughs> Thank you for your 20 years. <laughs> Gabe just made it out there this morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that that free ship code. It's never going to expire for you, buddy. <laughs> Go out on the warehouse floor, pick out something you like. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, Carlos. Yes, sir. We're talking about um, getting fired, losing your job, et cetera. Um, but we're starting it with, you know what? Also, I just realized we forgot to ask everybody their life advice. And we only asked Reese. The first one. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, <clears throat> have you ever have you ever been fired or quit a job? Uh, yeah. I quit my job when I came here. Yep. But that was the only one. Yeah. That's the only job you ever had? Uh, job, job, yeah. <clears throat> paycheck job. Like, I've had money under the table, but. Yeah. Yeah. Did you quit in, like, fine form or? I think you gave them two weeks notice, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I gave them two weeks and stuff like that. And they tried to keep me, but. I already told him I was coming. Dang. So I just came. Uh, how long had you worked there? Ooh. A what? Pushing six. Six six, six, six years. Six years. Did you, you were working in the office though, right? Yeah, I was already, I had made my way there. Yeah. Yeah. You started out on like a, like a floor situation and yes, then sir. worked your way up. We've got a running tally of different reasons people would quit here. We've got, well, I'm not going to tell you all the reasons people have chosen that, like, if they had to guess why somebody would quit here. Mm, I don't know. Well, why would I quit? Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you could, if you could, like, pick out, like, why you think somebody would quit. It's kind of a random question, but we just thought it'd be interesting. I don't know. Drama. Drama? Yeah. I think, I think people would quit over that. Like a current reason? Like there's currently a lot of drama here? No, just in general. Oh. Like the people uh, we work with, I can see someone getting Okay, so like hurt. coworker kind of stuff. Yeah. That someone would that would kind of fit. I think yeah. that would fit uh, under coworker. I, I, I agree. I, okay. I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> what about? Well, I need one. Yeah, you only got, <laughs> you only got one vote, man. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you're adding them up? <clears throat> We were, I mean, I, w I wasn't planning on it, and then oh, Cole okay. just did. We've got four. <laughs> Cole wasn't supposed to be on this podcast at all. He just sat down with his computer. <laughs> not <laughs> now it happened at all. Four people have said the heat. <laughs> he wasn't even One on. person said Dale's farting, and then three people said co -work, just like coworkers. Uh, Kevin said he didn't like Carson and Blythe. Um, who didn't like you, Cole? Carson. Carson didn't like Cole, and he wasn't. And Kevin also wasn't so sure about Donnie. Add me, add but, me to the call. Okay, <laughs> okay. But Carson said he would leave if I left. <clears throat> but Carson did say he would leave if you left. Yeah, we're about to have some coworker drama. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I said that I feel like if someone like changed their purpose for being here, which is why like some of those people left you know like Wes quit riding bulls Garrett Kelly Johnson quit riding Bronx Sam quit riding bulls who else did we say there's somebody else oh and then I think we lost one gal this summer because of the heat so which I completely understand but <clears throat> anyway so those are kind of the the top three reasons I don't fart that much I don't feel like that's I mean you farted four times today that doesn't feel like that much. Do it was not even new. They don't yeah. stink. That was before lunch, man. They don't stink. Though. You said twice, 
Ooh. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good a one. one. <laughs> okay, I didn't. Lisa brought me a burrito, chorizo. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> and she had the hottest hot sauce for it, and it mm. lit me up. Forty-five minutes later, we're in here having a brainstorming session. Dude, do you want to get on the topic of your farts? Because don't you have a cameo account where you've been farting for people? Um, so you can do it on command. That guy's name was Tom. <laughs> Should we not talk about him? No, I don't mind talking oh. about him. <laughs> I can't think you're going to call him out. Well, Tom's the name that... I've changed his name. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I don't remember his... I do know... I do remember his real name. But yeah, he had me do, I think, five cameos that had... I'm on Cameo, by the way. I don't normally advertise it. I think we talked about it in like one podcast right before Netflix came out or as Netflix came out. Um, but I do quite a few. I do maybe one or two a week. And uh, yeah, this one guy hit me up multiple times. And his one request and reasons for Cameo was that he wanted me to fart in it. He said a good <laughs> a good fart or a burp. Don't you dare be serious when we're talking <laughs> about this. <laughs> Hey, that hey, money, 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 that money cashed, son, dude. I, yeah, he I, never asked me to do like anything inappropriate, so I was like, "Well, I'm gonna, I need to fart anyway. Might as well make some money for it." I mean, yeah. Hey, hey, I bow down to your business sense when it comes to that. He one. said, "He's." I mean, obviously, there's things I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do just anything for money. But he was like, "I really appreciate good fart humor." <laughs> so, yeah, but you weren't telling fart jokes and then farting. You were just farting. That's well, not fart humor. That's just fart noises. Hey, and some of them I told him he was weird. <laughs> I still farted and cashed that check. But uh, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure there's been weirder cameo requests out there. Oh, I'm sure of it. I just never been. I've never, I don't talk to those people. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> Anyhow. Well, we started with the first one. Um, and, and oh, um, have you had any awkward breakups? Awkward breakups. You are a ladies' man. No, I am not. Carlos is a ladies' man. Yep. And I don't mean like he, he like has a lot of ladies over, but just randomly he'll show up and they'll just be a very attractive young lady with him. <laughs> but which is not like it. I'm not saying like it surprised me, but we're out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Where are they coming from? <laughs> I'm telling you, like, once people, some people, like, don't want to intern because they find out where we live in Texas. Like, what's around there? Not much. <laughs> and Carlos will get these very attractive young ladies to come visit from, like, miles away. Anyway, ladies, man. Any nice. awkward breakups? Yeah, it's a long story, though. Uh, you, well, don't ha you don't have to tell it, but if you want to. I'll tell it. I just don't want to get censored. Like, I just tell it, and then you guys can edit it if you want. Okay. <laughs> now you got to tell it. <laughs> yeah. So I met this I met this girl, right? And uh, we were talking for a while, and it got to the point where it was, like, it was getting intimate, right? And uh, eventually she hit me with the I'm pregnant. So me being me and, like, you know, I'm obviously, like, going to be a gentleman about it. And I was like, I, I guess I can fall in love with you. Like, I'm going to get to know you now because it hasn't been <clears throat> more than four months, right? <laughs> <laughs> so let's try it out. <laughs> and then anyways, months pass and there's no signs of there's no signs of pregnancy. And I'm I'm like, maybe she's just skinny or maybe she's it's just a small girl. Anyways, it kinda clicked and I was like, Why haven't you been asking me to go to the doctor with you? I'll go. Like, I'm down. I love you. And then no, I don't. <laughs> but I will. Well, uh, but we'll get there. But we'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, turns out she's not pregnant. And then I had to kick her out of my house, and I had to basically break up with her like that. And, uh, yeah, she was trying to trick me. Dude. Four months? That no, is time passed. That's oh. the best breakup one we've had I was today. about to say, yeah, that's awesome. I had a friend <laughs> that, that, that did that, and there was this shady girl. And this friend was like, hey, y'all, because they, they broke up. They got in a fight. They broke up. And then the next day, it's like <clears> – <throat> So there's this couple over there. Imagine them. They broke up. Me and this friend who is a is a she's a girl and uh we were not dating or anything. She dated an, another friend, but we're both sitting there and this friend was and the, and so anyways, they break up and uh like I mean like 24 hours pass. It's like, "Hey, yeah, we got back together. Yeah, she she's pregnant." 
And this friend of mine, girlfriend of mine, that's not a girlfriend, but just a friend that's a girl, she was like, watch, I bet she's going to have a miscarriage. And we, and me and a couple guys were like, that is very rude. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, she just knew the girl. Sure enough, <laughs> never showed any signs. Right. Had a miscarriage, quote unquote. No, she didn't. She just was trying to get the guy back. Right. Super shady. Yeah, but horrible. it happens. But it happens. Dude, and then whenever I told her to leave, she left. But then she came back wanting to like find closure. And I was like, you're not coming in the house. So then I went out. I went out we can, there. We can have this conversation outside. Yeah, we did. And then she kind of like, not she didn't trick me because I voluntarily went in her car to talk because I didn't want my neighbors to see me. And then she had fuck. She had her pistol like on the center console. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what for real? And then I was like, I don't know what's going on. Do you need to go? Because you're I mean, obviously on my property, and I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna care. And then she left. We're going to unload this. I'm going to take the clip. Get you another one <laughs> on it on midwayusa.com. <laughs> it's not a plug. But I'm going to keep this clip. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's, uh, that's, yeah, that is a wild I'm thing. I'm going to Midway USA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's, did she point it to you? No, it was. It was. I, I don't know. I think she was thinking of using it, but it was in the car. Like, so she never got there. Because she well, never came in the house. I guess she is the kind of girl that like lied about being pregnant. Right. So she would also be the kind of girl that'd be crazy. Yeah, she was. Weird. Yeah, kind of like that episode of the Office, like when Ryan goes back and he sees Kelly. She's like, "Well, you better, because I'm pregnant." <laughs> and he goes, "Oh my gosh!" And, and then it just cuts, cuts to her, and she's like, <laughs> "Yeah." It, it cuts to Kelly, and she's just nodding, shaking her head left and right, like she's just like that. <laughs> Uh, and then he's like, "All right, well, let's go to dinner and talk about it." And then it cuts away to cuts back to Kelly again. She's like, "We got a date." <laughs> yeah, you win on the breakups, breakup yeah. stories. Yeah. Can't top that one. Sorry, you had to think about it. It's Didn't funny. Take you to a dark it's place. funny because like not funny, but like I just I guess I respect you just because you're just like you were like very honest. Like you're not gonna just say I love you, but you're like we can get there. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, like some of those like <laughs> yeah they're cultures. Like, oh, we're, like <laughs> I love you already. Like, <laughs> no. yeah. we're, I'm not gonna this lie. This is to great. You. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, but we can get there. Yeah. yeah, like those cultures. Like I don't remember what movie it was. Like it was like <laughs> in this this arranged marriage for this other country, and they were just like, yeah, you just kind of gotta learn to love them, you know. And I was thinking, like, golly, that's like a tough way to, but like, mad respect if you do, you know. Oh, yep. You win the awkward breakup. Did I guess you haven't had so we we do if you haven't really had an awkward leaving a job, that's where the awkward breakup came from. Uh -oh. But but so that's why that story came up. So <clears throat> I guess we can wrap it up with life advice. Do you have any life advice? If you uh, got a son going off to college, what are you gonna tell him? He's he's going to go be a man at 18 oh, years old. I thought man. you were asking him, like, do you actually have no. a son that's going to die? <laughs> that girl was lying. I thought that's what it was going to. <laughs> no, 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 no. Five years old. <laughs> that's, Anyhow. That's how I put it to Reese. Yeah. Because, like, I don't know, just like that's the kind of life advice we're going. Like, what would you tell your 18-year-old son as he's leaving the house? I don't know. I would say. <laughs> she might do something. <laughs> Don't be silly. We've made it so far. <laughs> we we tiptoed on that line this whole podcast. <laughs> okay. If we in case we have to edit that out, what's the other piece of advice you would give your 18-year-old son? <laughs> That's it. That's, that's you it. know what? Good enough. Good <laughs> enough. Yep. I can I can make that. What do you got, Cole? Uh, if my eighteen year old son was going to college? Yeah. Don't. No, okay. I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, I, I just uh <clears throat> Man, never never doubt the freedom that comes with discipline. Mm. I think. Did you read that in Jocko's book? Man, well, I had to reread it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> it was like sometimes 
Yeah, for me, it was just getting up and working out in the mornings. Yeah. And, like, you just kind of, you get in, a, get in a habit, you know. No, oh, I'm just going to sleep in or, oh, I'm, I'm tired or I didn't stay up late. And, uh, man, even buy new running shoes, like, that's, you know, I think just uh, just getting up and go doing it. Like, yeah. I think I can tell the days when the days when I wake up and work out in the morning, you know, and then pretty much everything after that is just super easy. Like, I, I know it's not, it's actually easy, but it's just, um, I don't know, getting stuff done. And, like, you might fall off the path, you know, but uh, I know it's never, it is literally never too late to start back up on it. So, yep. That's me. What do you think, Donnie? Um, don't you say Columbus? Why? I'll, I'll edit it out. I'll edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Burn your boats, man. Burn your boats. Charge. That's a good one. It's a different Columbus yeah. quote. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Whatever. I don't know. It wasn't actually Columbus, yeah. but you know, it's related. <laughs> no, they're like take a boat somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then burn them. <laughs> <laughs> Quit your job. Burn your boats. Be a man. Yeah. Uh, Be a man. Uh, man, I read. Uh, I really, really like Psalms one twelve. It talks about the righteous man, and uh, it talks about fearing the Lord and loving wisdom. So I don't know. I don't really have a lot of life advice. There's no. I don't have a one liner prepared, but I, 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 I haven't. I've been out of my, out of my habit of doing a, a Bible study. We kind of got away from it a little bit. We need to get back into doing our Bible study, but like, and so when I need to fire up a new Bible study. Uh, my old man used to do this, but it was like, you start whatever day of the month is. So it's the fifth today. So that's what I did this morning. You start on Psalm five, you add 30, you do Psalm 35. And then you, you, you read Psalm five, you read Psalm 35, 65, 95, and 125. And then you read Proverbs five, you know, and then if it's the sixth, you do six, 36, 66, and then so on and so forth. And then, so essentially every day of the month, you've now got this, this, uh, Bible study. And, um, <clears throat> you know, it doesn't take that long to read six chapters of right. a book. And, uh, it, it really helps you kickstart. And then, and then after you've done that, you know, for 30 days, well now all of a sudden you dive into something different, you know, go back and read the story of David or the new Testament or whatever. And so that, that's kind of, but, but I, I was flipping through and I saw Psalms 112 and I've, I just love that chapter because it, it just talks about the righteous man and how God has his back. But the very first verse talks about like fear the Lord. And um, so as righteous as you are and want to be and need to be, you know, you a lot of times when you think of like a righteous man, you might think of him not being afraid of anything. But the Bible says to fear the Lord. <clears throat> I think that's the part that where it'll keep the righteous man humble. Mm. Fear the Lord and love wisdom. Sound wisdom, Dale. So thank you for listening to this episode of Rodeo Time, the podcast, where you hear everybody's quitting and breakup and getting fired stories. Text me, 940-353-0890, and I will keep you informed on when these podcasts drop. So I'm Dale Brisby, and we are on to the next one, old son. Roll that beautiful bean footage.